Good evening, folks. Time to lock up the kids, put out the dog, and sit back and relax and have a look at footy as it used to be. It was rough, tough, and at times, downright scary. Now, here at Channel 7, we've been looking for weeks in the vaults to pull out the best stuff we can bring to you, the forbidden stuff. And in the next hour and a half, we're going to show you footage that, quite frankly, the AFL doesn't want to go to air. Now, folks, let me warn you. It's bruising, bloody, and very much in your face. And we've pulled out stuff that would make a 16-stone wharfy cry. Now, it isn't pretty, that's for sure. But let me tell you one thing. It's pretty emotional and exciting stuff. Today, the game is sanitised. Almost to the point of being robots. Three umpires wanting to discipline every player at every turn of the footy. And a million different camera angles to catch these blokes that would have got life years ago. Let's go back to the black and white days. The days before there were cameras on every turn of the footy. Play goes on, kick into the centre of the ground. Here's a chance for Busy, he's met solidly. There's a chance for Sherrick once again, he gets it pretty hard. Dean comes through, it's a nice hand pass here to whip oh. and gets one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was absolutely unnecessary. Goes in to try and get up for Carlton, the Dean comes back to get his own kick. Oh, yeah. Did you see that one? Centre half forward, teased out oh. the and all. Ross Smith, the little rover, pushes the ball out in front of him. Oh, and there's a decent one. Tries to take it once again. Oh, he do. Rosa now came through, punched the ball away. Oh! And he comes again though, Papley, he won't give up. Oh! Puts it back here, racing in as Billy Goggin. Oh, boys met very solidly. It's over here to Crimmins, Crimmins in trouble. Pace of Gennady, oh! Play hooks it in and there's a chance for Hart again, he marks. Couldn't take the mark, Jim Reed's there and waits for the ball. Oh, the rest of the Right to the half-forward flank on the member stand side. Out the gully, it's been picked up by Quirk. Quirk trip. It's been hello, hello, hello. Put up over the centre half board and Conbrick marks. Oh. <laughs> the ball and unable to Richmond to get out of trouble. Oh, blimey! Thompson hit down very nicely, but Olsen read the play then. Took it away. Oh, oh a ripper! Tackled by Bustle. They're still going. Oh. He's gone for a short pass. It's a lead. It was a lead by Wade, but the cast was ill to the pass was ill directed. Oh. Whoops. 28 and a half minutes of the third quarter gone. There they go. Nobody gets a tap down. Vinci bars up. Oh, and Cudman pops one. Kick goes into what's in a half forward. Nearly a mark the string. Down to Tony Jewell. Oh. Oh, that could be the boy. Oh. By Wearmouth. Wearmouth steadies. He's in a bit of trouble. Oh. Butch Gale here doesn't think that the lead Collingwood has got is enough. Oh. Bartlett. Comes around Bartlett there. There's Serby, played a good game, couldn't take that book. Oh. Folks, we've put the spotlight on the hard men. How about these fiery forwards? Where these umpires come from, but I want to have a good look round. Lately, does the intercept, grab what would appear we're not in possession. Lockett tries some strong arm tactics, and that should be 50 metres. Yep. In fact, it could almost be a book. Interference by Dorovich? No. Nothing doing. Time's run out. The Blues have won it. Oh, now that... That was ridiculous. Now, right on the siren. Not worth it, Tony. Look at the great disappearance there. Not Kurtz. worth it, Tony. Three minutes. Uh, or three, what do they get? Uh, water Ooh. here. But, uh, Peter, look. Gee whiz, he's such a valuable player for St Kilda. Get out of it. Well, McRae goes over the top of him. Dean Gregg kicks from a standing start inside. Oh, oh lock it. Courage, shown. Is it Peter Caven who went for that mark? <laughs> oh! oh. All right. Out cometh the book. The Brownlow medalist gets on his bike. Away he goes. Lock it. Give him chase. Two ton top. Oh! Down goes Young like a pack of his butt. Latches onto it, brings it down to Lockett. Look out! Oh, oh Smith! 
Lewis touched off the boot, I think, to kick the full forward. Lockett and Graham, well done, Graham. He has played a game, Graham. I think that's called making your opponent earn the kick. Up towards half forward, now full forward. Lockett again from behind. That's the player in front. And it's Mickey Martin. A little sore, a little sorry, but he does have the football. Once Jimmy Jess, he's dropped it. Oh, free kick to Jess. Yates indirect into the pocket and the mark taken by Tony Shaw and down he goes from a Gary Ablett bump. Miles towards half forward. White could have almost been held. No oh, free kick oh, down goes Lyon. Gee. Dodging and weaving. He gets clear to half forward. Out towards Ablett. Oh. Oh. Collides with Gaston. Ablett again. Oh, he's caught. What was he caught high? Simpson took it out of his arms. Up towards half forward. Mitchell White. Oh. Back to Sean Wellman, he races back, he should go to the boundary. Oh, oh he nearly cleaned up by Ablett. Winmar, surrounded by about five cats, that was clever oh. by Brewer to Ablett, falling to the ground, a kick towards full forward. Neil takes the mark. Bardsley seems to be hurt. Lynch kicks in, member's side. Ironman, oh, Ooh, and that hurt. Copped that, didn't he, from uh, Wayne Carey. Oh, free kick. No, no, that's fair enough. So. Yeah, no, that's free kick. kick. Well, it was a token jab. Tony so finds Morris. Oh, gee. Nicely played, Anthony Rock. Oh, oh, that was uncalled for. Oh, this will be on now. That was too high. And uh, well, Wade Carey's got to get that out of his game. Interesting game. Oh, hard taken high. He's got the free. <laughs> the umpire sees oh. the ball go down to Carey. Special fried rice. He is not rich. well. It is on. Look at this. Carey in the thick of things. Wallace is there as well. Going to have to hit that ball hard to bounce. It's a soft turf here at Football Park. Goes up to Carey. Oh. Not appreciating the close oh. attention. He oh. should be very careful. And then Nick. Uh, oh! Couple, couple lunches thrown there. I don't think I'd steal the beers of uh, either of those guys in a pub. Don't argue. Emergency umpire on his way out to try to sort that one out. No love lost there, Mick. No, certainly not. Well, it's one thing to give the free kick away. Oh, Barry, oh, no. don't be a goose. Take him off. Scarlett backed himself nicely there, didn't he? Raleigh, able to escape. Oh! oh. I fear he might oh, be reported for that. I'm sure the Saints didn't. Oh, oh that was oh. Free kick. And it's getting ugly now. Oh, it is getting ugly now. Oh. Oh. It's on for young and old. They're going down left, right, and centre. Now, the means of dispatch haven't changed over the years. They've just become more refined. I've broken this segment up into three parts. The educated elbow, the coat hanger, and the good old-fashioned Biff. All highly effective, but all highly illegal. Again, he won't give in this. Oh, they got him Doing a great job there. Oh, down goes Walls. In the centre. Come on, desperately fell by 13 points. Win the game on his own in the third. Well, there's Scott doing a tremendous job on the ruck. Look at him go through. Short lead out here by Bartlett, and Bartlett takes the mark and the free kick. Coming over to Goss, in trouble, he's grabbed. Beautiful to Collins, and Collins is clear. Oh, he's got one in the face, look at a free kick. Kick oh, is beautifully smothered there by Elliott. And there's Clayton. Lachlan's going back pretty confidently. Oh, God, he stood on that fella's head that time. Davis's head. Oh, well, Davis oh. gave him one. Oh. <laughs> Knocked down by Picken. Magro, but steamrolled by Turner. Oh, goodness me. Oh, down goes Andrew Arvin. He got a beauty. Oh, Conor McClay got on that. Up to right half forward, knocked away from Cloak, not too far by Andrews. Ooh, a solid bump there with Welsh, and they both went down. They're both out to it. Coppings against two here. Let's see what he can do. Over the back is Everett. Everett, oh boy, down behind the play went Daryl Cox and Steve Copping. You're in big trouble. Short pass from DP to Benico out towards centre wing. It's not a particularly good one. Parking on. Oh, heavy flash there. Wallace has been booked. Watson chips it back to Merritt, who kicked the last goal. Got one for his corner. <laughs> Wallace taps it on cleverly to Bacanara. He's got the dippy running. Oh! In front, Bandit. Knocked away by Landy. Oh, oh. oh it 
Edmonds knocked Egan right out. Gets underneath the ball a little bit, so not a long kick. And good mark taken by Persa. Whoops. And Brereton took the mark, but was it out of bounds or not? Oh, he cut one in the mush too. Out comes Adlett. Oh, good. Wow. That might have been a bit high, actually, from uh, Burns. Bounce now, Clark with Richmond getting the tap down. It's taken by Cracker, who got flattened. Play continues. Richmond about to go forward. Is Cracker on the two? Gappa goes in to try and make amends. Almost threw it back into play, and he caught one at the same time. That's a better one to cloak. Oh, Osmond picks him up. Puts the long kick down towards the square where Baker's there. Takes it right on the line. In comes Mace, and Mace takes the bar. Oh, against Jimmy Buckley. Ablett, Kevin Ablett, that is, coming through. Bursts his way through, puts it forward. Finds Morris. What about the hand pass? Oh, pop one too high. He really caught one there. Dacos may be able to get out of it. He's down. Just on the other side of the centre wing. Short kick is OK. Oh! oh. <laughs> Very late. Very late. And uh, let's see what's going to happen here. A book go for sure. He was ridden into the ground. Oh! oh. <laughs> Thank oh. you very much. He wasn't yeah. acting that time. That's at a crude tackle. Meldrum, down he goes from an elbow. And Meldrum. Oh, book is out by Somerville. And the book is coming out. If McLean can only pick the ball up, he can't. Good tackle, Pekin. Oh, oh. St Kilda player got taken high. I think it might be Harvey. And good backup support from Yates, who gets taken out. Perfect hip and shoulder. Great footing. The young in good position. Oh, oh that's oh, unbelievable. Oh. Oh. Jenky thumps it away, Lawrence. Oh, oh gee, with the elbow. Oh, excuse me. Let's it stay in play. Doolan. Oh, oh, flattened as he kicked it as Kelly ran straight at him. And it's a free kick relayed down the ground. There's a bit of a wrestle going on behind the play. Down goes Pike, and I didn't see what happened there. Already picked up a couple of marks. McKenna, or oh, Harding, oh, watch me. out. Straight up in the air to half forward. Oh, well right done, effort. terrific stuff there by Clarkson. But the bounce went to Simons. The oh. tackling's been superb. Oh, there's a hard tackle. A little too severe for Edwards. Lip tack gets it back. Was that tackle high? Kicked away by Lamb. Oh, whoa. he copped one high. This will be a free kick to Lamb, I would think. Again, trying to push the ball up into this. Quite a strong oh. breeze, but again, not far enough for man. Vardy from Ooh, behind. Oh, good Graham oh, Strong. Oh, he's been with McLeod. Wow. Legitimately. Kicks up looking for Kernan. Bang. Crash. He's giving away the three. Oh, goodness me. Scott Burns. That's Stewie Lowe. And he oh, to Jackson. Interception down there was by White. But no, oh, Jackson and White collided. Then I'd be able to make this again, but he's in trouble. He's down. After Collins, who's tackled straight away and pops one right in the face for his trouble. Got a good position for, to go to. A great piece of play by Van der Haas. He got out of that one. And all oh, too high again. Looking after it now is Pickens. Much of the ball beautifully that guy. Oh, he's got one right around the neck. He certainly scoots around for free side. Too long for Brereton, in fact. Brereton, clever knock on. Here's a Josh Schwab. Two of them flattened. And there's a number being taken. English is gone. Up towards Jackson and Langford. Jacko over the back. Cop one right in the face. To bow. And there's another one now. Oh, dear. And it doesn't stop Leon Harris. Coming across to meet it now is James and Cloak. But James has got it. Oh. But he cop one from Cloak. Did he won. This is Hawke. Hawk was taken around the head. Spalding over the top of Danaher. Madden does well. The hand pass makes it difficult for Williams. How can that go past the umpire? Stephen, good mark. He's got back up support. Oh, a free kick hopping. Caught very, very high. So, main wearing. Oh, free oh. kick main wearing. A very crude tackle by Kelly. Now, Brown goes very short and gets wrong. Oh. Martin just takes his head off. Mercury and McKay, the latter slips over. Oh, Buick cops a ripper. A lovely long kick. It will be marked. Oh. No, it's interference anyway, is it? Yes, a free kick to Longmire against Perth. Supposedly had the flu, couldn't talk on oh. Friday. Well, he's talking tonight. Oh, it's 50 metres. Over the top of Ramiro, close to best on ground. Does a ball. Oh, he's been caught high. The short kick. Oh, oh. 
Actually, that's an indiscretion. Good off the left. Oh, solid clash. Eagleton crunched down by Scott. Done some exciting things tonight. Milburn oh. gets the ball back. Oh, Pearl has put Colbert down. Williams straps one. Oh, tackle. Hit by Freeborn. Buckley. Oh, oh look that. out. Oh, look out. Good. And it's a free kick. Really serve it up to them. But, oh, look at this. Oh, he's dropped the sitter, David Reese. Oh, oh, he's popped one. He got it. Oh, Banksy, there comes the notebook. Helped out by Phillips. Phillips' a short pass. As Jenko can't mark. And bang, down goes a Melbourne player. Lion again. And I can't believe that. Umpire was watching it. The so was Steve was, O'Dwyer. The umpire was about two feet in front of him. Unbelievable. Boundary umpire wasn't far away. Peter Cameron's come in with the pencil. He's almost marked by Mitchell on his back. Oh, this hand passes. Oh, Greg Williams. Out comes the book again for Greg Williams. It's not going to be a goal. Taylor flying from behind. Let one go. And it's on. Oh. And it's Melbourne have been Bonnie sucked Bonnie. in here in the early minutes, Pete. Actually, it's been sucked in. Because I can see Geelong players taking their off the ball. Now, Flanagan, although he's not in that. And he kicks at the bays. But was it out? Pretty crude effort by Kelly. Yeah, I hope Bays is all right. Nearly a chance. Chance there for Burke. He just looks a fraction slow. There's a report coming out of this. Bit a long kick to Kernahan. Kernahan on the attacking side of the centre takes a very good mark. Mark number five. Gets a bit of a swipe, I think, from someone. I, I think he's going to be reported, Leslie. Leslie is reported. And the box on still continues. Murphy wanting to go on with it with Dean. It's Verbeek. Verbeek. Oh, it's oh, a big one. ripper. There's been a, a couple of big ones thrown. Oh, 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 doing something. Drop punt. Neild, Morris and Vidovic. Vidovic takes it. Two minutes, ten oh. seconds remaining. Well, there's a fair bit of pressure there coming from Ken Hickley. Kicks high and long. Mainwaring. Try for his second screamer of the afternoon. Oh. Couldn't grab him. Oh. Kept... How the umpire, did he see that? He's yes. got to have seen it. Surely. Yes. yes. And the Brown, though, favourite is oh, gone. No score. doubt about that at all. Up towards Morris and Spalding. Morris oh. does reasonably well, but then falls over. Or was he helped? Big men are at it again. Oh, Russell, there's some holding on. That must have fainted. From right centre wing. Passes in towards Harford. Strong mark. Hudson taken high. Edwards brings it back into play. And Burton again. Well, oh, oh. he caught one there. <laughs> well, our laser's not happy, and he could be in trouble. Wow. Fisted away from Brownless by Brendan Gale. Oh. And eventually over. And Wayne Campbell showing a little bit of frustration. Not quite. Oh, that's a punch to the head against uh, Andrew Jarman. He'll get, nearly get reported. He will. Toe post along the ground. Big shirt bump from Sarah Koski. Oh, oh, and a nice little uppercut to Tony Francis. Seymour kicks Sydney deep into the forward line. O'Brien had two to beat. Robbo's disgusted. Oh, come on, Kevin. I'd love to see a replay of that. I mean, that is just absolute murder. Ships it up towards a half forward. Oh. Kuda Fides. Got one high. Decides to take them on. Try and do it on his own. Oh, Sam. Down goes your husband. Oh, goodness me. That might be something. It is something. Essendon back with the first four goals. Monkey has put Moorcroft down. We well, might get another chance here. Great use of the body. That'll be 50 anyway, you reckon. We're pushing back across the half-back line now. Yeah, a little bit high. The cold sort of away. Oh! Gallic at midfield, wobbly kick. Grant, or oh, didn't give him a chance at all. Grant, let one go. Pierce at the back. Oh! 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 That's after the siren. A slap across the face by Seacamp. And Chris Mitchell letting oh! it go. Gets a handball away. Johnson was in there, met heavily as we have a ball up. Oh! Out. And there's a bit on here. Oh! And it's on again, and Somerville has put Moncourse down. And the amazing thing, folks, hardly any of those incidents ended up at the tribunal. Now, in the 60s and 70s, I played with and against our next trio of heavyweights. Three terrifying men who were big and bad. Big Carl just jumped into his car and the autopilot took him to the tribunal. The other two, well, they might have been a little bit lucky. You be the judge. Kicked off the ground as Dick Vincent Bill. Who's going to win? Oh, 
still got that first one around here for the stumble. Towards Ian Dyer, he can't pick it up. It's picked up here by Billings. Billings to, oh, Kedrick, let one go, Billy really Ever. Race. The players going down everywhere. St Kilda free kick there, but it's Flurry Hill. And Kedrick stells him. And they're into it. Grim that comes right out from goal and is hit for his trouble. And Mr Ditwich cops one, two. I tell you what, until the Bishop came in and soccered the ball off the ground, Dittrich comes in and shepherd the ball, it's players going in hard here. Talbot, here he comes Davis again, oh he ran into a quick ball, oh they're going in here. Ball goes back towards uh, Dittrich, he punches it out, picked up by Robert Walls, it's supposed to be towards Sorrell, he's grabbed to get a free kick there Walls, oh and down he goes, Dittrich is up into him, and down goes, no he can't go down Dittrich. They can't get him down. A bit of a jostling match between Jones and Dittrich. They both missed the ball. Who's going to come out with it here? Could be anybody. Oh, behind play. Look at this. She's on again. Pickett. Pickett. Comes down to Dittrich again. He can't pick it up. Over to Dittrich. Oh, another free kick, I'd say. Because Dittrich goes after the ball now. Over to Barker. Oh. Kick. He seems well out of position. He's their centre-half forward. Morris couldn't take the mark. Dittrich tries the hand pass. Moyer's there. Morris and Dittrich wrestling. Dittrich pulls Morris's hair, it's on now. Good come off, Nichols almost pulled it in one hand, it was a trifle high however, and the uh, reliever kick now goes... Oh, now he moves in, he'll get it hard. And goal! Oh. in lovely position, but over the top came Wait, play on. Tudnam kicks the ball up the centre half forward, the players collide, Hopkins was one picked up by Nichols. Nichols now soccers the ball off the ground, Tudnam does one, and the, and, and, and the whistle goes. The whistle goes, there'll be a free kick here to Tudnam. <laughs> oh, are they going in? Rough and tumble out there, I'll tell you. Goes towards the half-back flank. Barn comes out, knocks the ball away from Canal. But Canal will get the free kick because it was right in the middle of the game. We're at Southby and Barnes, pushed away by Wade and Southby. And Southby fell high. Oh, 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 too high. Up in front, gets it down, it's taken by Barn. His kick smothered. Coming up. Oh! And certainly there's going to be some fisty cuffs here before the game's over. Ah, there's a little bit going on there. As we see, uh, Muir and Baum. Uh, just about a, does a chip chop in the air. For uh, driving it down towards Hunt there over the centre half. Well, there's Dickens going after. The ball on this. That was October 1987, the Battle of Britain, and seven players rubbed out for a total of 15 weeks as we took football to London. And folks, the Poms didn't know what hit them. Back in 1974, it happened on our own turf, Essendon and Richmond in a full-scale war at half-time. It was known as the Windy Hill Brawl, and it erupted around me. And in the centre of things, my old mate, Malcolm G. Brown. Hello, oh, it's on again. It's on again oh. down here. Players and officials and everybody into this one. Right down in front, there's the cans going over the fence. The runners are in, Andrews is in. They're all in. It's going to be, look at this going on out here. Quinton now in the scene. And Parsons going for his life. Didn't want to be in it. Players are laid out. People are laid out everywhere. One of the nastiest scenes I've seen in football for years. Mel Brown is an interesting character. He's trouble with a capital T. And in 1972, Mal's team West Perth met Carlton in Adelaide in a post-season competition. Carlton won the match. <laughs> Mal won the brawl. Towards the centre of the ground, up goes Jones. Oh, oh, Jones. He hit him he right was, in the goal. He was up end of Percy. Mel Brown is... Uh, I've dedicated this next segment to our team leaders, the men who lead by example. And I've dubbed them the Cyclones. Uh, they leave a trail of devastation in their wake, folks. Oh. Now gets his kick up towards a half forward flank on the outer side. They fly for it. 
Could it be uh, Peter? And Britt kicks it uh, further down the flank position. It's a free Tottenham mark. overruns the ball. Not another one. Goes to Fletcher, however. Fletcher goes straight across the ground. Here's the race for the ball. Ooh! Tottenham came through and down went Keogh. The chance for O'Connell. Tapped it down. Wise is there. Got a bit of a bump there from Keogh. <laughs> Tottenham threw himself in. He certainly straightened up. Percy Jones. He's laying flat. He's back on the ground. Now trying to pick it. They're all going in very hard now. O'Day have some kill. He's locked to the ground by Matthews. Wilson, a desperate tackle. Makes him unload the ball quickly. Taken by Trump. Oh. In towards the centre. Oh. And still he tried up some Kilda. So he tried picking himself up off the turf there. There's another boundary throwing, which has come to nothing except the umpire has awarded a free kick. Picks up a hand pass to what Alan Davis in actual fact. Matthews coming down and a free kick to Alan Davis. Was Brown of West Australia. Oh, goes on Matthews. For your free kick against uh, Matthews and Cable goes down. He's down. Carlton, <coughs> last year's premier side and all over goes Trevor Keo at the first bounce. Lee Matthews going down, number 53 is Lee Matthews. A hand pass, oh, here's trouble. But missed it a bit too long. Can he get clear? He does. But Manassas oh. under pressure. We'll come to ground, that's for sure. Look, bounce okay for Pickett. No, oh, down he goes for Matthews. And when he bumps him, they stay there. Rose gathers the ball oh. in the centre. Malcolm Blight is now on the back line. Oh, too high, I'd say. Felt them from... Uh, oh, look at Matthews. And now he tries one over towards Feltham. Feltham's got it. Back towards Greg. Oh, he caught one too. Van Curvis threw the ball out. Oh, and he's heavily left met by Lee Matthews. Lee Bynum in trouble. Is he ever? Oh, he got caught a decent one for Matthews that time as Matthews runs away and the up by his holding up the plate. Matthews has the ball punched away from Giles. McLean coming across. Matthews, uh, well, really gave Giles one behind plate. The umpire finished waving the flag. The flags, he's found Hunter. Oops, that's a bit of strong work. Baker popped a decent one on that one in that incident too. They're trying to watch the game at the same time. They just don't know which way to look. Oh, gee. A Geelong player's gone down behind the play. So it's Matthews. Matthews goes down. And a real shirt front as Walshfold cannons into his opponent. Likes to measure things to his Ooh. organised. Down goes Hawking. Williams, flattened. Back into the square. Can anyone get a run at it? Brereton waits down and may have to try and sock it. He's hammered over the line. The umpire's calling play on. And up towards centre wing. Oh, gee, down goes Fraser. Another chance for the Lions. It bounces through the pack. Matthews cleaned up once, cleaned oh. up twice. Goes with a high kick up towards Mitra and McIntyre. Back the end of the move. Johnny Wilson. Really looking for something to happen. Oh. Wilson goes around now as well. Now, folks, there's no more lethal weapon in football than the slipper. Now, this next segment is dedicated to the stompers, the ankle tappers and the trippers. This is footy, uh, boots and all. Barras has still got a bit of pace, but Moran knocks the ball in front of him. Oh, and they come and come and throw. In wing position, sure in front. Oh! There's his kick now, over centre half, four on the mark, taken in defence by Suratovsky. Oh! And here, and this could come off. Nichols almost pulled it in one hand. It was a trifle high, however, and the uh, relieving kick out. The back of the pack there, so too is Bustle. In comes uh, Patterson very strongly indeed. Well, Robbie Wall's in front of the pack on this occasion. Oh! Why oh. not getting the tap down, but Mannix with the chance now for Footscray. Has the ball kicked out of his hands and will be awarded the free kick. And a little bit of a to do going on. There's Nichols with Roberts. Oh, Roberts went right at a Nichols. Woods huh? kick smothered by Max Richardson. He tries the worst position on the member stand side. And a good mark taken there by Doug Bott. And Brian Roberts should stand his ground here and take a mark, which he does. And a chance for it about to play on. Change it. Oh. And Jess Link goes right in the centre there. Uh, down goes uh, David Dench with Jackson. Oh. Play that, Greg on the centre wing for North Melbourne. Whoops, and it's on Cousins in there. The far end number three. I wouldn't argue now you got the throw. Oh, oh, we saw that. Oh, he gets his knee into uh, Scotty there on the ground. You can see that. Oh, it might have been the foot. Or oh, dropping his head at the last moment then was Roberts. He was, was in front, however. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Did we see right then, right? I thought, <laughs> actually, when I was... Oh, he oh, just oh, whacked oh, the umpire. Oh. Oh, no. That's unbelievable. Oh, boy.
Well, and this is sensational. That... The umpire has gone down. Hughes going after two with uh, Walsh. Oh, he got into his back. It could be a free kick to Walsh. The umpire coming across to have a chat to him. He staggered Walsh. Knocking at Collingwood's way. Francis collected by Laidley. Grants an opportunity. It's getting very willing now. There's going to be an Eagles free oh, oh. kick. And it's on again. As Lawrence Shackey prepares to uh, take his place on the field. Oh, that's a bit ordinary. Oh, that's pretty ordinary there from Peter Dacos. Just dropping into uh, Johnny Gaston's head. Can't take the mark. Now it's Steve Wallace for Footscray. Here's Crenial. Oh, what about that? Oh, boy. You saw it. Guy McKenna in towards centre wing and Craig Turley. Back to Kemp. Tremendous pressure being applied by Hawthorne as Deer goes over the top of Kemp. Corshay, who was outbodied on that occasion by Alessio, couldn't take the mark and has given away the free kick. Rose kicks inside the 50. Mitten oh. Connell, clever mark. Yeah. Oh. There's 50 metres. Wow. Well, well, 50 well, well. metres. Come on, umpire, wake up. He drifts it up towards uh, Camparelli territory. Swass is with him, fairly at the back. Camparelli quick to recover. Yes, he booted three goals uh, in that second term, and Barnes Ooh. takes a oh, pretty 15. good grab. Is that a free kick to McKinnon anyway? Archer's in sense at the moment. Taylor, wide will drop into the hole. Oh, great courage again. Steve he's Lawrence, this time he's hurt. Let's have a look at uh, Dean Wallace and Aaron Hamill. And now he's got him in a headlock. The ball is in there somewhere, and there'll be a bounce. Oh! oh gee, that looked a uh, rather indiscriminate attack on the body by Mercedi. Not content with using a dab of mercurochrome on the boot, others have resorted to more unconventional methods to get rid of opponents. The use of a well-placed goal or behind post, or perhaps a fence hoarding. Folks, this is the immovable object. Griffin gets the mighty hit away. Whoa, and uh... Wild. Oh! Gee! Down goes Wiley. Straight into the goalpost. Backing up Wallace Smith. And Smith's oh. got the ball. Oh, he's bumbled the ball out there. And the ball is up there towards that wing position. But it'll be out of bounds. I think uh, Niger went to the fence that time. Well, let's see whether he's hurt. He got, he got the top part of the advertisement. That's a nasty one. Oh, the post is broken. Matthews hit it and broke the point post. <laughs> oh, talk about a he-man. How was that? He split it right down in half. <laughs> a fantastic effort by Lee Matthews. Coming out to meet it now is Mitchell, but he and Steele can't go. Oh! There's Mitchell going right over the stand. That was a real acrobatic turn there, Peter. Ross running away from his own goal. Well played, McCarthy. A couple of strong shepherds. He was hurt. McCarthy is hurt. Down goes another North Melbourne player. That's Crocker. Murphy doing well also. There's a kick at goal. It might bounce through. Oh, what a kick from Murphy. Eagles looking very, very good. The kick out towards Lewis. Lewis underneath it. They race at it. Peter Warsfold will take it to the boundary line. Oh, he goes into the fence. He oh. might get a free kick here. Peter Warsford, I think he'll get a free kick against Lewis, who's just back from suspension. Reynolds dragged off the kick and floats down. Oh, oh Lord Ballantyne. Oh. Point from 80 metres, a long kick. Can Satori get back there? Oh, oh he the crashes hell. into the goalpost. Ablett will be his man. Ablett and Brennan. They're at each other. Ablett. Oh, he's crashed into that goalpost and he's hurt. He's hurt. Kick the goal, Sandy, but he is in big trouble, Gary Ablett. From 60, Ablett and Pert. Pert gets back there and hits the behind post. Oh, he's, he's hurt, Gary Pert. Socket off the ground by one goal, Kellett. Big Ilya, can you do it again? One behind. I think he's hit his head against the goal post. I hope he's all right. Armstrong dropping another mark. Should have taken. Bickley went into an open goal. He's oh. taken. He's been shoved right in the middle of the back team, the umpire, and a free kick to Mark Bickley, who's crashed into the goalpost. We'll use his pace here, Lockett in pursuit. They try and clean him up. Simons, Lockett still going with Fletcher. Oh, careful, boys. Such a nice uh, oh, That's a bit... He's, he's all right. He's, still, he's done well. Games off to Patterson. This looks promising. Pulls the kick. Oh, God, oh, look at that behind post. And he does not blink an eyelid. 
strength of Keogh, who sets out the goal, brings it in and puts it through and lays it the goal post. Probably run to the boundary line this ball, it does. Akamanis wants a free kick, boundary throw in. In turn, to help himself, and then that kick was close to the line, but it's a free kick because the tackle on Patterson was deemed as illegal. Oh. As the rain begins to fall, can he take on McCurdan? A show of streets down there, King gets buffeted into the turf and is rather slow to get up. They're about a six count and he doesn't look good. Kick up towards the 50, White. Ooh. Put into the fence by Dean Wallace. Scott's kick, bouncing, bouncing. Crashing in there is Viney, he's the spirit of Melbourne. A great play by Byron Pick and he took it upon himself to go and meet the contest and that's the reason why it went out of bounds. White line fever attacks different players in different ways. The next group had umpires running for cover. Now pay special attention to the work of a man they dubbed Delicate Des. He played in the mid 60s and he was an artist at work. The ball bounces, players still trying to pick it up. Oh, Sherrick gets it. Ma tries to get a left foot to it, kicked off the ground by Park and in towards the centre. Oh! Raise a tackle very heavily there. I'll, I'll tell you what. Picked up. By McKenzie, popped over in towards the goal square oh. and caught him. Finley, there's his kick up towards the forward pocket on the stand side. Fordham's there. He juggles it. Pops another one. Smith now steadies. Kicks in towards Minot there and Minot's mouth. That's taken away from him. Then the back will be played to uh, Crosswell, a good piece of football. Great mark taken out there by uh, Pennell. And it'll be up the field. It's all up you But I think it's a bit late. They won't make the five, will they, Al? And the free kick will go, it looks like, to Dennis Banks, about 20 metres out from goal. Yes. Oh! Oh, you saw that on your screen. I don't know what happened, but the umpire's taking out the, the book. The umpire calls play on. Cracker picks up. Well tackle. Holding the ball. Oh, oh down with us and killed a player there, too. What was the punt kick to centre field? In front of crack. Oh, he's fifth to Fitzroy. Go right in the eye, and the umpire has called the advantage rule. There's a box on behind play. Reese Jones is into it out there with somebody. I can't pick who he is. Tuck. Players now set up. Oh, just eight players in a dust up. Not before he goes over the top looking for Francisco. He's been reported. Oh, yeah. Reese Jones just came in. And oh, they're having a go now. Slip. As he slipped was when Rhys Jones did the damage. He did bounce it. They're still out of beat down there. Now oh, they've ne got him a part. Neagle, Neagle and Rhys Jones, and there's no love Oh, lost. Rhys Play Jones. On. Oh, then he gave him one back. Rhys oh. Jones tangles with love. A bit of a box on between Ayers and uh, Rhys Jones. Well, Reece, the, the umpire's already out. getting the book out. It looks as though Rhys Jones could be uh, booked. He's gone. And by a boundary umpire. What a sensation. Trying to get it to Berenden. Oh, hit hard by Rhys Jones. That's it. And have a look down here, there's a fight on before the match. Extraordinary scenes at the MCG. There's a blue before the match, and they're into it left, right, and centre. There's Kelly and Danaher. Now, the Collingwood players were forced to run through the banner at an odd angle because the banner had arrived late. The Essendon players were congregated nearby. And have a look on the bottom of this. Where it looks as if a couple of... Uh, players, one from Essendon and one from Collingwood are at it. Now, Jared Healy, did you, did you cop anything there when I was looking at the ladder? Well, I did see Hardwick come uh, running in, uh, throwing a few fisty cuts, but it just augurs well for a good game, Bruce, does it, with both sides so uh, spirited. Of course, they did clash in a memorable grand final there in 1990 when Collingwood pipped them. Collingwood, of course, settled down better after the, uh, the blow. Talk about all fired up. Turn it up. They hadn't even bounced the ball. Now, in 2001, the AFL announced stiffer penalties for players who brawl on grand final day. Uh, folks, I reckon they've left it a bit late. Let's look back at the biggest game of the year. And you can't help but remember, Neil Baum, Dermy, and Terry Danaher. Just a link, though, deep into the forward zone. Big Nichols is there. And he goes, oh! Nichols is down. Nichols is down. And the ball will be brought back as the ball goes to the wing position now on the member stand side. Players overrunning it. It's Crosswell with it. Crosswell, oh, he's nabbed. 
Now it's called play on. Payne gets a ball across here, and there's a blue one down there. Look at this. A long kick by Stewart down towards the pocket, where it's Southby and Barnes, pushed away by Wade and Southby. And Southby no oh, high, and this one too high. Southby's a little seedy too, as Roberts is up in front, gets it down, it's taken by Barnes, his kick smothered. Coming up, oh! He's gone. Tackle by Dool, Bartlett's kicked down into the forward zone, and Hall, oh! And oh, back here, back, back here. Back here, look at this. Back here now. They're really in, but look at this going on. They're all having a go. Look. And the players still going on down there. Players are falling over like nobody's. And there's a free kick down there to Richmond. And players going in like nobody's business. The umpire, the goal umpires, absolutely hopeless down there. Got no hope. There's another go going on. Look. Barham covered by Young. Jesselenko in there. Gives it almost to Southby. Back to Young. In comes Renee Kink, used a bit of weight, down went Young, in goes the weight, Brewer's in there, Young is out cold. But a fair bump, I thought. Careful, Renee, you're gone, son, you're gone. Very stupid. Against his old side, he'd be very keen to do well. It wasn't such a good pass, but nevertheless, it's uh, still picked up by Peter Moore, gets away from Fitzpatrick. Awesome again, oh, got a beautiful biff right in the side of the face. Oh, he's out cold. Finally, it comes back to Matt, and he's upended. Wallace gets one a bit high. The umpire says play on, but he's found a free kick. It'll go to Timmy Watson, no doubt Aston's best player There's so a far. fight, there's a fight. There's a box on. We tip that out there on the wing position. We'll go back with the play. Burn, oh, a, a great big punch. That was Mew, I should say. Finally, it comes out there to her, a hand pass. Well, the fight's more interesting the than fight's the fight's still going. Players are going over left and right out there as the players out there now on that... Uh, well, Madden's reported, you can bet that. Yes, Short, oh, Peyton probably is too. Short pass and a mark taken here by Vander. You keep your eye on the fights, boys. Vanderhaar about 50 metres out from goal. Russell Morris drives it out there towards the wing position, the back fly. There'll be plenty of mistakes in this first quarter. And they're having a go again. We tip this. This will be on for Young and Old before it's over. Michael and McCarthy. Well, they're going in now. And Hawthorne are not taking any funny business today. Look at them going in. Piling in there. Players falling over left and right. You pick it up and you'll find the fighters there. Matthews and Watson. Look at them piling up. This is the best I've ever seen for in a grand final bar. I can't be good. Look good. Oh, golly, Peter. Talk about stacks on the mill. I've never seen anything like this. How they'll unravel them, I don't know, Peter. Well, there could be every player on the ground is involved, and you could book the whole two sides, Bob, couldn't you? You well, really could book the whole two sides. Yes, you certainly could, and uh, if, if they're going to start reporting, they'll be writing for quite a while, so it could be a long quarter. There's the siren to end the first term in the 1990 Grand Final. Collingwood, 2-5, lead Essendon, 2-2. And we have a brawl on the siren and there oh, we saw him plenty of attention is Kelly. And we thought this had happened very early on and now they're not they're not mucking around these guys. And usually this does happen early on in a grand final, not at the quarter time break. Kick it forward. again. Got one high from Terry Nanahan. Russell plays on quickly to set our boards of play on his own bowling. Well, that be 50 metres because that was a late take-off. Folks, I like to think of this next segment as do as I say, uh, not as I did. And just for fun, we've looked back at the on-field antics of our AFL coaches when they were out there battling for a kick themselves.
Has a chance, oh Bob Kenny, got one for his corner there. Here's a chance for Walls, he goes on with it, Walls takes it. Matthews has the ball punched away from Giles, McLean coming across. Matthews, uh, well, really gave Giles one behind play. Up toward Newman, out in front, Newman takes the mark, and Mobhouse copped him on the way through. And this young fella's played a great game, he copped the heavy one that time. And, uh... Up towards Jackson and Langford. Jacko over the back. Cop one right in the face. Oh, boy. Did he, did he connect? Re- Off to O'Donnell. Little pass over the top is good. And Williams takes the mark. Peter Schwab goes into the book. Short pass from D.P. and Abenico out towards centre wing. It's not a particularly good one. Heavy clash there. Wallace has been booked. Blackwell going in, so too is number eight for Essendon oh, Clark. there's two of them there, Pete, there's look at it. And players coming from everywhere, but players started, and the fights are still going on. What a sensational start here at Princess Park. And players coming from everywhere, it's an all in Donnybrook. Oh. Shocking, isn't it, folks? These are some of the biggest names in the game today, showing a considerable amount of hoonism. Now, trial by video has slowed things down in recent years. And I can understand you mums and dads out there saying, yeah, Rexy, about time. For years, football could turn into football at the flash of a fist. Centre with Princess Park, sitting by himself. We see Len Potter at centre-half back, take an easy mark and getting flattened after he kicked two. They've all gone mad. All gone mad. This could be a real Donnybrook if they keep this up. But John for young and old now out here, Slaughter. Oh. I don't know what's come over. Him. Maloney comes through the ball, he gets a kick in towards uh, Malloy. Malloy takes a mark. Been up on one assault charge already. It's on, it's on, it's on. Felt like we take it out of the break. Want to be back to here if you can. They're going everywhere. Oh, Johnny Fidge, he's mad. Oh, they're dropping them right, left, and centre. Elkinstone's left foot towards Barker. That was a beautiful pass by Elkinstone. Cunningham and Reed, Crawley in there, players go down like nine pins, the umpire reaches into his pocket to take out the book, and now we see big Darren Flanagan having a wrestle on the turf, and there's a bit of a dish up behind play on the left half forward flank, Blackwell going in, so too is number eight wrestling and Clark, oh, there's two of them there, Pete, look at it, and players coming from everywhere, but players started, and the fights are still going on, what a sensational start here at Princess Park, and players coming from everywhere. It's an all in Donnybrook. Oh, goodness me. There are fights everywhere. Oh, golly, Madden and uh, Jones are having a terrific go there. Too. There's plenty of fights going on. Well, I don't know who started it, Pete, but it may be a diversion uh, tactic by Carlton to upset uh, the, the Bombers who've had the wood on them since 1980. 
Oh, golly, what a start to this game. What a sensation. It's on here. Before the first siren has sounded, Reese Jones is down and uh, not suggesting for a moment. He was just given a mighty swipe. And if there aren't any reports taken here, Bob Skilton, I'll be extremely surprised. In the centre as well, Sandy. It's on everywhere. Look at Jacko. Oh, look at Jacko. He's up the other end. Oh, he's putting on his own concert. We can't see it. But Jacko at the other end has just gone three rounds of shadow boxing and uh, Jeffrey's wearing the 22 Guernsey for Geelong is having his head ripped off. I tell you what, there's not going to be a lot of love lost here this afternoon. Well, short across the ground. Could be a 15-minute penalty. The players running past Larkin there. Oh. The North Melbourne boys did not appreciate what Larkin popped there. And, uh, I think it's just that the, the ball hasn't been down in that forward line so often. They're a bit cold. And uh, Kevin Smith has got his hands full there. And in fact, the book is coming out. Herds on top of Jimmy Cracker. Oh, then goes near the circle. Centre circle. They're really having a go. But since the start of the game, before the ball was even bounced, there we see uh, Phil Cracker going after Herd too. And uh, Mark Thompson, then in comes Hickey. They're all having a bit of a disc. And really, oh, they're throwing punches, Venner and Lupson. And really, this has erupted. I suppose. Oh, that's nasty stuff, Robbo. Well, it, it just sort of started out of nothing, didn't it? The um, well, it, We appreciate the player on the ground. That should have been a gimme. Liberatore. Could that be 50? Put down by O'Dwyer. It's on here. It certainly is. I think that could be 50. Not appreciating that uh, heavy play by Steve O'Dwyer on Little Libba. Wasn't it clumsy? And a few want to really go on with it here. So... Late in this game. Oh, Andy Goodwin comes in. Oh, oh, that was a beauty. Oh, Andy oh. Goodwin went down. Well, he's uh -huh. he's up again, but it was a decent one. This and is in the it's oh. on in the last minute, the last of, minute play. of the game. What a Pete. joke. And there will be something out of this for sure. St Kilda lead by 13 points. The Saints 5 12. Collingwood 4 5. Gee, look at this. It's Coughlin and Shaw immediately. Have a look what's happened here at half time. The shades of the grand final two years ago at quarter time. Well, it's certainly They've erupted. come from everywhere. Um, Coughlin and Shaw originally, and it's on, as you can see. Dramatic scenes at half time. Winmar and Richardson and McEwen were left, right, and centre. If there wasn't enough drama in the first half anyway. Well, it has settled down, I think. Uh, not too much happening now, just a lot of pushing and shoving. I'll tell you what, if Craig Kelly jumped, jumped in the ring with Jeff Hickman Harding, I think I'd have a, have a little wager on him. Oh, he'd be back in Kelly. He dropped a couple in there. Oh, OK, yeah. Robbo. And Bauer will get the free kick, and now Dennis and Yates get involved. Mm, they all get involved, and quite a few big ones thrown there. I think, well, Yates just took it a little bit too far. Oh, oh, Andy Goodwin let a few fly. Oh, what? In they come, and Keogh as well. Oh, and in the meantime, the goal is kicked, but that is disgraceful. An ordinary hand pass towards uh, Hedy. Oh, shirt front. Hip and shoulder by Steve Wallace, and he got Brett Hedy right down the middle. Hedy, and that hurt. Yeah, I know, but Hedy knew he was coming, didn't protect himself very well at all. Courageous effort oh. to go for the footy, but you've got to look after yourself. That's silly. coming from everywhere. And that is the sort of thing that might spark up Footscray. They need something like that. It was fair, but Hetty is going to be carried off the stretcher. But this is looking ugly at the minute. What would the tribunal be without the marquee names? It was box office stuff every Monday night. And this next trio could guarantee a full media turn-up. And they did it time after time. Over to Shields. Oh, is on there. Yes, Brereton uh, having a slight disagreement with uh, Glenn Hawker. Brereton's down. I'm by Glenn James has got the pen and pencil out. De Brasso couldn't get a good kick up. Pickett gets a stranglehold on Brereton. Oh. Still into him now. They're having a box up. And Brereton and Danner having a bit of a box on down on the goal spur at the other end. Harvey again. Brereton, that one go. I'm by racing in with the book. He may be it. Doubt about that. It's coming up on the ball at the present time as Hawthorne work it forward. Brereton collides there with Wurzbold. <laughs> it thrives on that sort of thing. 
Kicks towards half forward. Target is Morris. He opted out of the Ooh. contest. Oh, and down went Lyon. And the book will have to come out for that one. Well, well that was unnecessary there by Dermot. I and mean, I think Dermot should concentrate on football. And that does not look good. Dean Anderson to half forward. Curran at the back. Oh, some strong play by all the... Oh, Gerritin has ironed out with the hip and shoulder. Band assisted to the interchange bench. McDermott. Ooh. Oh, down he goes. stuff there. Back towards centre wing, McIntosh couldn't take it, Lewis slaps it wide, then got one high. Look at Browns and Martin at it, already. Have a look at this. Oh, be careful boys. Well, that's a melon. How much? That's 50,000 almost if you get seven in there. Well, it's Melly, Melly, all right. It constitutes a Melly Jerry, doesn't it? It does, and Dipper was dead set correct. His uh, information was pretty good. He thought that Dermot might just be uh, almost at boiling point. Look at him, is he pumped up? Well, I think that's what the crowd were going off at. Hang fast that time, ball back towards centre field. Danaher, oh, he caught one right at the point of the chin that time from D.P. Adamenica. It'll be McCarthy against Matt. Madden gets the tap down to Hawker, but he's grabbed, and that's the siren to end the second quarter. But Hawthorne in a pretty good position, nine goals, 10-64, there's a box on now. Essendon player got rolled there. State vice-captain against South Australia, he'll be playing at Football Park on Monday. Oh, Dippy and Amenico still his ground. You can't blame him for that, I guess. He staggered Sam and all right, it's the way by Danaher playing at centre-half back. Oh, Walsh got one from uh, DP and Amenico, caught him on the point of the chin. The umpire going across to take his number. Oh, he's aimed him out like a tap. It's Austin getting away from Matthew. Oh, he's got one from BP and a minute ago. He doesn't know where to go. He's down. Oh, he's up in. He might have got it too high against DP and a minute ago. He's taking his number. Pocking was held without it. No free kick. Gathered by Morrissey. Great. And popped one from DP and a minute ago. So, just about infringed in the ruck. In the back. Tackled too high. Wait for years once again. Princess Park, it's on here, don't worry about that. Shaw, Rice, oh, Carmen uh, once again. Ball quickly, win, and, uh, win tackled by King. Still nobody to give it to. Well, you've got somebody anyway. Now you watch this. Now, I don't know whether it's Carmen or be right. Oh, I do, it could have been Dool, Louis. But it could be another bloke coming in now. This fellow here, look at this. Well, the umpire did take Carmen's number. It's a hurry kick down there, it's a free kick. But not paid by the umpire. Cap. I think they wouldn't, I wouldn't even be surprised if there's been a report down there, Jack. Well, there's something happened on that occasion down in the forward pocket area, side bottom getting up. The umpire's talking. Oh, did you see that one? Did you see that one? Carmen in the thick of things down there. I think has been reported by the boundary umpire. I'm sure has been reported by the boundary umpire. No one is exempt from a bit of old-fashioned football biffed. The Charles Brownlow Medal is awarded to our fairest and best player each season. Best? Yeah, for sure. But have a look at this and tell me if Ferris fits the bill. And a free kick to Ian Stewart. There's a 15 yard penalty. A little bit of a blow-up. Oh, he gets his knee into uh, Scotty there on the ground. You can see that. Well, it might have been the foot. Lauer couldn't take the mark. He keeps the ball in front momentarily. And well taken away by Crone. Oh, well done. Oh, boy, a stiff arm tackle. Oh, boy, that's right. The coming out. Gerard Healy. The ball beat him over the line. And Wilson and David can and a slap across the face. That could be a report. About 10 seconds to go. And if it happens over the boundary line, as you can see. Heard and sensed by all of that, comes back on Crawford, who's been fiery throughout. Oh, Willis went fair at him again. And we will see a similar procedure take place once more.
Brings it down the lock. And look out! Oh! Smith. Rock over the top. Crawford. Chikili was quick. He came in hard. Liberatore came down, but he's taken him too high, Liver. He's gone down in a big way by Crawford. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? There was a time when you could expect a couple of real heavyweights of the game to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and flex their muscles. Like two bull elephants going head-to-head. -head. Have a look at these guys. Glendinning plays on with one bounce. A short pass, it's not a good one, but there's Armstrong going down from Rene King. A free kick to Carlton, but he backs up while he gets it. And appears that Peter Keenan has been reported. It appears that way. Don Scott. And another wrestle. Somebody obviously didn't like the, the uh, attention. And we've got another little bit of a dust up. As I said earlier, it's a day when tempers can very easily become front. It's on again. Hughes and oh. Taylor. Well, numbers would have to be taken there. That's the best round now I've seen since uh, the Australia Games at Festival Hall. Riccardi to the pocket. Ablett. Oh. Well. Wow. They'd been under siege here for a, a considerable period with North Melbourne kicking towards the west and then taking much of the control of the game. That's the steadier that Geelong needed. Clever tap on the hockey. Can't control it. It's in trouble. Worthfold's got him. Fantastic tackling. Puts a gain and Bill Brown was holds on. So a free kick and Worthfold and Gary Hawking as they've done a number of times today already. Oh, that was nice. And, uh, Look at Brown's on the Martin at it already. Have a look at this. Oh, be careful, boys. We're a long way away. We're 100 this. metres away, That's Peter, nice. but I think you saw it fairly well. It was a boxing match. Look at this. It is. Unbelievable. Well, Jamison working in close. And the goal square. A couple of heavyweights. And Gardner was leading with that left. Pavlich is going after him. They're coming from everywhere, Dennis. Oh, it was a free kick. Yeah, crazy. It'll be a free kick, I think, to the Dockers in midfield. Well, there's one thing to assert yourself, another, just to get a free kick away, and probably be on report as well. G'day, folks. Come with me for a stroll down memory lane. A time when there was a bruiser in every shadow. When a walk on the wild side meant just that. Step back into a world when real men played footy. When you could stand up for a mate. When the men in white would turn a blind eye as natural justice was dispensed. Once again, we've delved into Seven's locked archives. We've sifted through miles of videotape and film to show you the type of stuff the AFL hates being aired. Last year, we showed you Biff's bumps and brawlers. The response was overwhelming. And believe it or not, this is the type of football that footy fans want to watch. They don't give a hoot for the malaise or trial by video. These are people who like to stand in the outer in the days before the Chardonnay sipping theatre set took over. Now this is just a taste of what is to come over the next two hard hitting bruising hours. A bit of a jostling match between Jones and Dittrich, they both missed the ball. Who's going to come out with it here? Could be anybody. Oh, behind play. Look at this. She's on again. Dittrich goes after the ball now. Over the bar. Oh, there's Dittrich going after. The right on this bar. Downing Dittrich. And he'll get a free kick. And it'll be up the field. It's all the beauty. Down he went. Oh, TV ring time. Yes. Oh. Oh, you saw that on your screen. I don't know what happened. Matthews has the ball punched away from Giles. McLean coming across. Matthews, uh, well, really gave Giles one behind play. They're trying to watch the game at the same time. They just don't know which way to look. Oh, gee. A Geelong player's gone down behind the plate. Kicks towards half forward. Target is Morrissey. Opted out of the Ooh. contest. Oh, and down went Lyon. And the book will have to come out for that one. Oh, some strong play by all the... Oh, Burden has ironed out with a hip and shoulder band. Have a look at this. Oh, be careful, boys. Well, that's a melon. Brereton waits down, may have to try and sock it. Oh, he's hammered over the line. Williams, flattened. 
It'll be McCarthy against Matt. Matt gets the tap down to Hawker, but he's grabbed, and that's the siren to end the second quarter. That Hawthorne in a pretty good position. Nine goals, 10-64. There's a box on now. It's the way by Danaher playing at centre-half back. Oh, Walsh got one from uh, DP and a minute ago. Caught him on the point of the tip. It's Austin getting away from Matthew. Oh, it got one from DP and a minute ago. Pocking was held without it. No free kick. Gathered by Morrissey. Craig and Pock one from DP and a minute ago. Dodging and weaving. He gets clear to half forward, out towards Abbott. Oh! oh. Collides with Gaston. Go back to Sean Wellman. He races back. He should go to the boundary. Oh! Oh, he nearly cleaned up by Ablett. Denmark, surrounded by about five cats. That was clever oh. by Brewer to Ablett, falling to the ground. The kick towards full forward. Neil takes the mark. Bardsley seems to be hurt. That interference by Dorotich? No. Nothing doing. Time's run out. The Blues have won it. was ridiculous. Dean Gregg kicks from a standing start inside. Oh, oh lock it. Courage shown. Is it Peter Caven who went for that mark? Lats is onto it. Brings it down the lock it. Look out. Oh, Smith. And have a look down here. There's a fight on before the match. Extraordinary scenes at the MCG. There's a blue before the match. Nicely played, Anthony Rock. will be on now. Interesting game. Oh, hard taken high. And then uh, kicks in towards full forward. Oh, well done. Oh, 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 oh. oh, dropping his head at the last moment then was Roberts. He was, on, was in front, however. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Did we see right then, right? I thought, <laughs> actually, when I was... Oh, he oh, just oh, whacked oh, the oh. umpire. Hey! Oh, no! That's unbelievable! Oh, boy! Knocking of Collingwood's way. Francis collected by Laidley. Grants an opportunity. It's getting very willing now. There's going to be a oh, Eagles free oh. kick. And it's on again. Rose kicks inside the 50. Mitten oh. Connell, clever mark. Yeah. Oh! oh! There's 50 metres. Wow. Well, well, 50 well, well. metres. Come on, umpire. But nevertheless, it's uh, still picked up by Peter Moore. Gets away from Fitzpatrick. Awesome again. Oh, got him! Beautiful Biff right in the side of the face. Oh, he's out cold. Now they're having a go again. We tip this. This will be on for Young and Old before it's over. Laker and McCarthy. Well, they're going in now. And Hawthorne are not taking any funny business today. Look at them going in. Piling in there. Players falling over left and right. You pick it up and you'll find the fighters there. Matthews and Watson. Look at them piling up. This is the best I've ever seen for in a grand final bar. I can't recall. Oh, it's all one like this. Man. Look, God. Oh, golly, Peter. Talk about stacks on the wheel. And we have a brawl on the siren in there. Well, we saw him plenty of attention is Kelly. And we thought this had happened very early on, and now they're not they're not mucking around these guys. Wiley. Oh! Gee! Down goes Wiley. Lewis underneath it. They race out of Peter Warsfold will take it to the boundary line. Oh, he goes into the fence. He oh. won't get a free kick here. They're at each other. Ablett. Oh, he's crunched into that goal post and he's hurt. He's hurt. He uses pace here. Lockett in pursuit. They try and clean him up. Simons. Lockett still going with Fletcher. Oh, careful, boys. The free kick to Carlton. But he backs up while he gets it. Clear. And the goal square. A couple of heavyweights. And Gardner is leading with that left. Pavlich is going after him. They're coming from everywhere, Dennis. Reese Jones is down and uh, not suggesting for a moment he was just given a mighty swipe. Gee, look at this. It's Coughlin and Shaw immediately. Have a look what's happened here at half time. The shades of the grand final two years ago, quarter time. Well, it's certainly They've erupted. come from everywhere. Again, the tempers are flying. So the players are very, very good. Oh. Dale Kickett has oh. just thrown a couple. Look at this, Dennis. Wallace taps it on cleverly to Bacanara. He's got the dippy running. Oh! Now Brown goes very short and gets low. Oh. Martin just takes his head off. Really serve it up to them, but oh look at this. Oh, he's dropped the sitter, David Rees. Oh, oh, he's caught one. He got it. Oh, Banksy, there comes the note. I've picked out ten blokes you wouldn't want to bump into on a dark night. These are men who would put a line through Monday nights.
which was tribunal night. The first bloke came down from Sydney, an easy-going, affable type of bloke, until he crossed the white line. Then the fever set in, big time. Oh, look at that going their way, Bath, beautifully. Talk about luck support, because Holden picks it up now. Down to McGann, he's got the mark. Oh! Could be a 15-metre penalty, I think it may be. Might be a book out too. There's he's taking his pass. number, I told you. Well, McClure certainly had a bad year this year. Socket away by Buckley, I think it was. Out the centre wing. Picked up by Dunstan, got one too high, and he'll get a free kick. In fact, it could even be a little bit more than that. It's a report. Ball up, McConville does it cleverly over to Meldrum. Dashing play, Meldrum. Looking for McClure. Finds him. McClure, well tagged on that occasion by Barker. Terry Smith. And Barker's clapping behind play by McClure. The umpire. Yes, sir. Mark plays on up towards the half forward line and over the head of Meldrum the mark will be paid and a little bit of how do you do Alan Jarrett go back and take your kick out and it looks as though he's at the bottom of that one Mark McClure well, he's uh, just been there and done that no I don't think it is going to be is it uh, no it is it is yeah. it oh. has oh. They've got the loose game going again. Out wide, Meldrum and McClure. McClure can't get to his feet. Oh, he gave one to Gafer there. And that that'll was, be on. Well, Mark McClure started on a short one to the ribs. And in they came. In the history of our great game, no two teams have had a hatred of each other or develop such a blood-curdling rivalry as that which has grown between Collingwood and Carlton. It might be a practice game, a game of old at Victoria Park, at Princess Park, or on the hallowed turf of the G in September. The Blues and the Pies play footy for keeps. For the wing position on the press box side, in comes uh, Tadnam. Tadnam has grabbed, gets it rather high. Rather unlucky not to get a free kick, battling on. And, oh, you saw that player go down. Over here towards oh. Nichols, over the top of Waters. There's a lovely hand pass by Jezelenko. Oh. Out to Hall. Hall tries to play the ball on. Crane he's will get the free. Thrown. Crane always, oh, if he can take it. Oops, a little bit of bother going on there too. Now Crane's in bother. Been allowed to take the mark. He plays on with the left foot now. Gould waiting from behind. Oh, and he stops one in the face. And then... Have a look at this. A little bit of a ruckus. Sitting by himself, we see Len Potter at centre half back, take an easy mark and get flattened after he kicked too. They've all gone mad. All gone ratty. This could be a real Donnybrook if they keep this up. But John for young and old now out here, it's going to be slaughter. Oh. I don't know what's come over them. Wait, just come on the ground. Wait's on, he just replaced it. He just come on the so ground, he starts to run berserk. I'm not, I'm not blaming Wait, but it's just the, uh, the heat in the player's mind, Frank. It could be a crushing defeat for Collingwood. The mark won't be played as play on, however, if Nichols trying to get a hand pass out the Gallagher, but it's been picked up by Quirk. Quirk trip, it's been set. Hello, hello, hello. Something on there. Nichols down on the ground too. Who's gone this time? Potter! Nichols on the ground in the hands of the trainers. Umpire Smith just turned Ted Potter around as, uh, and I take that, that he's taken his number. Well, it is there, but it's, uh, whoa, Price whoa, tries a long hand too. pass. Cudnam kicks the ball up to centre half forward. The players collide. Hopkins was one picked up by Nichols. Nichols now sockets the ball off the ground. Cudnam does one and the, and, and, and the whistle goes. The whistle goes. There'll be a free kick here to Cudnam. Oh! <laughs> oh, are they going in? Rough and tumble out there, I'll tell you. They're going down like nine pins. There's only about six more fellas to get there, and the entire two sides will be there. Shades of last year, Jack, at Princess Park. Yes, it was. Oh, well, it is, watched, isn't it? Similar scenes to this. Oh, no. Into the goal square, Big John. Oh, what about the mark to Hall? Oh, look at that. He's recorded him. I still don't think 
make those goal or bound round players are entitled to grab a player. Well, there's a sensation. Trouts may take this back off Nichols now. I think he has. He has. And Nichols had marked it in the 10 he, yard square. He's got it. That's right. I know he has. He did it before. Now the crowd can't afford Jack. to go crook. Yeah. They're going crook and should be at their players. Big John picks up his grab by Tottenham. Oh, and Tottenham and uh, Big John. Oh, look at this. He kicked a brick. Left foot by Price towards McKenna. McKenna overruns it. Oh, players go in at all angles. And there's the chance now for Quirk to get clear. Oops. Oh. They go up high, the ball comes to the ground. Oh, down and out they go. Ball taken here by Byrne, across to Jackson. St Jackson screws it around. And there's a mark taken there by Robert Walls. Walls with the penalty. Oh, look at that. They go more thighs high, just about infringed in the ruck. In the back, tackle too high, won't be used once again. Princess Park, it's on here, don't worry about that. Chance for O'Connell, tapped it down, Wise is there. Got a bit of a bump there from Cleo. <laughs> Dudnam threw himself in, he certainly straightened up. Looking for Jackson, interception down there was by White. But oh, Jackson and White collided then. I didn't actually, on the side of the screen, Gordon was running in with the, the arm up. Gets it over, looking for Carmen, he can't pick the darn thing up. He's in trouble, tries to get a hand pass out. That comes to Carmen, trying to get clear. Stuck his fist up and in the black stroke that time. Goes for a pass up towards Jessalenko. Oh, he gets slapped! He is out cold. Oh. Well, Magro got him a beauty. I'm sure it was accidental, but it was a very, very solid hip and shoulder. He's got that much problem. He's going for a bounce. Oh, down goes Harms. A very heavy bump that time. Oh, he's down. Really serve it up to them. But, oh, look at this. Oh, he's dropped the sitter, David Rees. Oh! He got it. Oh, Banksy, there comes the notebook. I think he's, he's probably wondering if it's still David. playing Fitzroy. At least he's wide awake. Well, I don't know about wide awake, but he's awake. And uh, an encouraging pat on the stomach there. Mullane and Glassman. Now there's a chance for Collingwood to come clear. Ooh. They outnumber. It's a bit of a crunch. Play on. And the right half forward flank. Banks taken out by DeRuy. And Stasovic. Sandwiched. Dorotich comes out in front. Oh, oh, there's a reported incident. Is that? He one of the players. Yeah, yeah, they're starting good. already. Kernahan and Kelly. Yes, well, Kelly's uh, obviously lining up on Kernahan and centre back. Tristan's starting on the bench, and it's very nasty here. Kick by Hannah. Oh, down oh. goes Gaffa. In trouble, Michael Gaffa. Inside 50 for Carlton. They haven't been down there. Too. Oh, oh. Uh, Siri, that oh. is too high. Seven, Minton Connell took a... Oh, oh, thank you, Steve Kernan went down. Yep, black and white and blues all over. You don't have to be big to be mean. This next featured hard man was pint-sized. They called him flea over 274 games at Richmond. It was a constant irritation. Gets it away and it's Rollings who kicks it long to the half-forward line once again. Over the back is Harris. Covering plenty of territory. Yeah. Play out play out down goes. behind the game. Play. We'll keep an eye on that. Got a hand pass working on that occasion. Waitman swamped. He could not do a thing with it. Tapped away from Eustace. Kicked high by Pickering. It will be clear because oh. as he got on the distance, a free kick going to Carlton's way. Gets the hand pass away. Oh. Now Teague touch oh. with free kick. Handball. Set our forward. Tigers go after it again. McQueen. Hand this kind of player back. has not moved. The means of dispatch vary. All have one thing in common. They're highly effective and highly illegal. The boot. The elbow. The forearm are all capable of stopping a player in his tracks. These are some of the worst coat hangers. He goes also for a run. 
finally Collingwood will get the ball up towards uh, centre wing. Wearmouth is flattened after he kicks the ball. Threw the ball back there towards the wing position over the head of the pack. A chance for Duke Perez. Oh, he got him right in the face that time. Ball down there to Jarrett. Back to McCann. It's a badly directed one. Wearmouth gets a bad hand pass. It could be a free kick to Wearmouth. He got one right across the face that time from Brightus. He's taken his and number. He's taken his number. Up toward Newman. Out in front. Newman takes the mark. And Mulhouse copped him on the way through. Mulhouse has already been reported. A hand pass over to Tempany. Oh, there's a player out cold. I think it might be Mickey Mulhouse. Because Holden picks it up now. Down to McCann. He's got the mark. Oh! Could be a 15 metre penalty. I think it may be. 30 metres away and made no attempt to get to the fifth of the play. Oh, Matthew's got one. Good defensive play by the young fullback, Glenn Brown. It's on half forward. Oh! Tony Shaw copped it very Oh, there's a Oh, he's in trouble, I think, Dacos. I would think so. To Billy Loken, who's been in great form in recent weeks. He's looking for Peter Burke. Oh! In the days of Captain Blood Jack Dyer in the 30s and 40s, the elbow was frequently bathed in mercurochrome pre-match so the victims wouldn't suffer unduly. You don't see many decent biffs with the elbow these days, and for good reason. Just about a capacity crowd. Allen knocks it down. Oh, straight arm there. Ratton copped it right in the goal. Looping hand pass releases Mercedes. The Bombers now in quest of an early goal. Goes in short to Young. Oh, my goodness me. Lewis in front, missed it. Johnson. Can the late goal down goes Kane Johnson. Taken high. Pittman, the player, is going for him. Is it going to reach? Doesn't get there. Oh. Riccardi stands the ground. Pops it from behind. Mark West has gone in like a missile again. He's got Caven. In towards centre for Jarman, dispossessed. Ooh. Confronted by Camparelli. Paddling for himself. Voss is there. Champion bowled over by Pike. The running Sanderson. Ooh. So he hits the deck. Wine tries to take a slips catch. No free kick downfield. The Cats fans are upset. Oh, gee, mid heavily in the marking contest was Gasper. Didn't like that. Precise kick. That's a good mark, too. And the real pressure. Whoa. Norris may have the ball taken off him. Building it forward. Coming out hard. Gets one from Moorcroft. The elbow. He looks towards Brown. Gets oh. a cool bounce. And he caught one. Oh. oh. Still around, don't worry about that. Have a look at the two captains here, Carey and Campbell, for a moment or two. Cool. The slipper men have all but been eradicated from our game. And good riddance too. Over the years, they've caused no small degree of discomfort. Bang. Smothered the football. Still St Kilda try to force it forward. That's a free kick against Thompson. Again, maybe 150 if they can do something right out of the back line here, putting each other under the under pressure is David King. Onkers gets a foot. He's kicked the centre wing. Hart. Ooh. Ooh, that was around the shins. Throws it into the turf, but now it's Collingwood again. The wild man. Off to Williams. Clever, but tripped. One of those behinds that could prove quite invaluable. Yes, the kick in has been marked by Dunkley in Somerville. Was that an indiscretion? Gets the kick just in time towards Gray. Oh. Ball come back, KB. He's looking for advantage. Ozzy Jones is, is wanting the advantage, but Boy is coming back. Lady also tried to flick it on. This maybe is going to be a pat kick away. A great shot, I think. Still in play, they're still alive. Whitehead trying something. And the first minute of the third quarter has produced two. Colbert. Mitch, another mark. Well, and Barnes is down in the middle. So oh, that was a trip. trip. Oh, David King. Two arches must miss one, two, and then legs Hocking. And he's in trouble, Hocking. The tweed jacket wearing Range Rover set who frequent the members' pavilion at the MCG were aghast when this next player wrought havoc. His name, Rodney Grinter. A true demon. Balding over the top of Danaher. Madden does well. The hand pass makes it difficult for Williams. How can that go past the umpire? Well, here's the incident now. Williams and Grinter 
coming in from the side. What did you make of that, Ross? Michael Conlon now works in the corridors of power at the AFL. Back in the 80s, he was known as Mick, and he played for the Lions, and he cut through the opposition sides like a human tank. Big bumps. Fitzroy defence under terrific pressure. The ball forced out. Oh, Saxe got one. Looking for Turner. Puts it away by Greg, who follows on. Oh, he's heavily met. Goes for a pass up towards Jesselenko. Oh, he gets He is out cold. Oh, well, Magro got him a beauty. Is, oh, just, oh, that's uh, not Timmer Bush, it was Smith, and down he went like a bag of spuds. And the Magpies are really going in hard. He hasn't moved, Smith. Kick wasn't too good. Chance for Jester Margaro. He got one right back from Wilson and collected him fair and square. Two. At half back goes for a pass. It's a good one. Oh, down he goes. And this young fella's played a great game. He copped a heavy one that time. Heard is the favourite. Oh. Runs straight into the white position. A good hip and shoulder there by side bottom. Could easily have gotten a free kick. Andrews cops one too high. Eagles giving it away. Kick is up towards full four, but there's Van de Haar again. He's dropped that one, but he goes down. Down there in defence. A long kick to half. He's grabbed it. Oh, he got the, a heavy one that time from Swab. Knocked him right out. Oh, very solid bump. That's Cordy that went down like a sack of spuds. He hasn't moved. Taken by Cameron. Oh, Yates met very solidly by Miles, and down he went. The hurry kick from Denham. Oh, bang. Whoops. Krasiski, you're in trouble. Down he goes, Watson, what a bump. Love that really high up towards centre wing. With a collision down there, Saunders. Malcolm was making very indirect without a centre half forward. They go out towards the flanks almost every time. Osborne crashing into him was Miles. Centering kick, Beasley at the back. Oh, he's got it again. And the field kicking, oh, been terrible. Oh, Madden has unloaded. I think it's Doug Coop. Now, here come the Tigers again. Here's the... Oh! Whiteman is unloaded by Neagle. Finding space. This is a bit more like Subiaco Oval than what they know. A solid shepherd behind play. To speak to one of the West Coast Eagles players. Condon, under no pressure whatsoever. Back to Dippier Domenico. Oh, he's bowled over by Williams. Barwick and Rice. Barwick gets the hand pass away. Here's trouble. They haven't cleared the area yet. It's on the 50 as Hetty marks. And Coleman crashes him to the ground. Wanganin, a beautiful little pass to Harvey. Courage by Harvey. It's a really good mark, that. Oh, so was that a courageous mark. They need someone to take a mark. Oh, was well, that a free kick? He had to show some courage, and he might be hurt. As long as he kicks the ball, doesn't get too much distance. Oh, Leslie sandwiched and is out. Handball over the top. May have been a bad option. Oh, Lindna, why didn't he get a free kick for that? Mansfield towards half forward once again. Couch crunched. Kicks out. Ooh. Bingham, oh, look at him racing like a two-year-old. Still going, Bingham. Oh, humped off the ball. Oh, the ball. there's a clash of heads. Runs into Wanganin. Bang! Punches it away. 
Francis and Russell with it. Oh! They're both out cold. The kick is very disappointing. Pretty up. Oh. body work. And Sean again. Oh! What a mark. Bangs it out wide. Ruse oh. Ruz has hit the shoulder. Puts Ruse right down. Seven. Oh, crunched! Oh, crunch! So the start here is vital. Carlton go forward out of the middle. Oh, collision. Oh, and McKenna is down. Jakovic the hand pass. Scott got in there for the tackle. Hannah recovers. Dean crunched down by Swoss. Have a look at the of sheer whiz. It was a, a solid bump, wasn't it? As O'Donnell spun to follow the ball, Turner wiped him out. Inboard now, Chandler, first touch straight. Oh! Oh, the shoot was hit him with a steam train. Got sensibly soccer's off the ground. Works bold leads in this race. Oh! Miranda has Nate. He threads it through, he lead only guy over the top. But it is steamroll! He is poleaxed! All Sydney, Doreen, Miranda, oh! the only man there, and he played it superbly. Miranda comes away. Doreen is down hurt. He gets it down, approaching. Oh, Richardson! That bump was by Voss. On hands and knees. Gives it across to Cousins. The kick. Bang! Down he goes from the shooter. Cousins, a probing kick. Sanderson should mark. Look out! Oh, McIntosh got him. And that was always on. Hooks it down towards full forward. In front of oh. Bullis. Met very solidly. Down he went. Bullis will hit for the boundary line. Actually keeps it in. Oh, oh. he was hit very, very hard. The meat and the sandwich. He's out to it, I think. Paul Bullis. Heard in front. Young behind. Heard stays in the contest. Very oh. well. Met very heavily, but fairly. To make a little ground. Did so towards centre wing. Lenny Hayes tries to keep it. Oh. Oh. Help from Crummel, off the ground he goes. Oh, Byron Pickett, he loves that. Hooks it back, not bad. Smith looks up, courage, free kick to Smith. Silvani kept on going. Whoa! Oh, Milburn has collected another one. The Eagles have produced some roughies in their 15 years in the competition. Blokes like Laurie Keane and Johnny Worsfold. But none got more headlines than this bloke. He was a member of the West Coast Premiership sides of 1992 and 94. Chris Lewis could and did fire him up. Eagles are troublesome. They get to within scoring distance. The little kick by Lewis. Oh, Simic just couldn't quite reach it. Yates is deep on the boundary line. Lewis crashes into him. And certainly a free kick down the field against Chris Lewis. And again, that's uh, because of the lateness. The umpires have got a bit to answer for here. The players getting angry with each other, and obviously angry with what happened initially. And we got the free kicks for their respective sides. Member side with a kick, Irving could have been pushed in the back. It spills out of bounds. Right in front of the emergency umpire too, Chris Lewis and uh, Steve McPherson. Grant McPherson's hurt. <laughs> Missiles. There's one behind. Bit to watch at the moment. McPherson's got a finger in the eye, I'm sure. And there's Williams again. Dwayne Lamb wearing him like a glove and is forced over the line at half forward for the West Coast Eagles. And Lewis and Williams having words. Scoreboard shows 4 2 to 2 2. Two goals from home. Here's a free kick going the way of Chris Lewis behind the action there. It's Lewis underneath it. They race out of Peter Warsfold will take it to the boundary line. Oh, he goes into the fence. He oh. might get a free kick here. Peter Warsford, I think he'll get a free kick against Lewis, who's just back from suspension. Let's have a look at it. Just little parts of Chris Lewis's play that he's got to cut out, I think, as the wrestling goes on behind the plate. Here's a quick hand pass. Comes out, I oh, held him. Good tackle. Umpire letting it go. That's good umpiring too. And uh, now the umpire might grab a free kick out of this, or someone's been thrown out of the pack. A stupid free kick here. Could be, uh, hey, the, um, the pencil's coming out here by umpire Coates, I think. And which way is it going? It, it's going the way of the Bombers, I think. The free kick. Chris so Lewis someone has been, has been reported. Chris Lewis, by the looks of it. He slip over again. No, he won't. He's not. He caught though by Ball. Back to Hartman. Oh! It's report the uh, uh, booking. It is. The numbers taken.
Looping hand pass releases Mercedes. The Bombers now in quest of an early goal. Goes in short to Young. Oh, my goodness me. Now, don't reverse this umpire. If he reverses this, it'll be poor umpiring. because the Reverse it? No, sometimes they do when... Well, that was about two steps too late. Wooden missed it. Cousins goes again. Banfield. Before the Melbourne Cup, Des Gleeson calls the jockeys in and warns them of the consequences of rough tactics in the biggest and most famous horse race of the year. It's bad luck the umpires of old couldn't have done that on grand final day. So much to play for, so much at stake. Who cared if the odd angry shot cost you a week or two on the sidelines the next year? They reckon the 1971 grand final between St Kilda and the Hawks was one of the toughest. Folks, you be the judge. Hi, that bounces off of me. Whoa, and over they go as Big Carl come through. Stage is short pass across the woods. Oh, oh. coming in over the top. Pelle down forward. Oh, hut. Whoa, through came Murray there. The ball knocked away. Looks like Murray's in a bit of trouble. They go through it on the other side. Kicks in the box and a half forward. Plenty of opposition there. Whoa. Kicking as Ron Brassie pointed out, it isn't pretty football, but oh, <laughs> look, the ball's at ten and a half forward. Breen comes in, almost unloaded by Russell. Oh, they fly, it's Becker almost back the mark. What did we kick? Oh, the ball on. Rice is there, Angus with Shepard for him, but oh, Neil bowls him on. Wilson, a desperate tackle, makes him unload the ball quickly, take it by oh. trot. Oh, what a shot! The big money men would be biting their fingernails now at this first quarter performance from Carlton. But don't sell Richmond out yet, I'll give you the big tip. Knock away there by Jones, taken by Jackson, he caught one. And it was seen. And Sydney's, uh, Sydney's uh, letting him know that he's in business too. It's right down, but it's all Richmond. Boyle well, has cuts the ball away from his teammate in Clay. Clay gets a big knock, it goes back to Robert Walls. Walls has his head nearly caught up, but it's called play on. As Wayne Walls grabs the ball, runs away. Carlton rattle a couple more on. Oh, Richmond hold on to take out the flag. Up they go. Kevin Morris appealing for the free and getting it. And a 15-yard penalty. The grabbing left and right as the ball is taken away by Montgomery again. A chance to stand Alves to mark. And he's got it. And he's down. By God, there's another one down. Dench has got him down too. Oh, there's the rear mouth coming in too. Well, they're going in there left and right. Well, the first real fireworks in the grand final of 77. It's absolutely hard and not great. There's a wrestle going on between Dunn and McClure. And this will be on for Young and Older Day. The Tigers... Another one as well. They're up near the centre. And yeah. There's another wrestle. I would say the Tigers are trying to distract this one on by uh, Rick and by Galvez. Rialli and Esper oh. having a real ding-dong go out there. Yeah, dip out there. Well, Jones has had his number taken. And Jones and Lee are into it. Jones has had his number taken. There's another go. Sheldon's into it too with the reins. Well, I think the Tigers... Oh, Wiley oh, went down. Wiley went down. And uh, so did Mark Lee when things have started, Blue. Oh, is this a sensational Lou, start? It's, oh, Jess has upended... Upended the handler. Oh, golly, hit him a beauty that day. He was on the ground now, Tim, but oh yes, um, McConville had a kick. He may have a broken arm. Brings it wide, looking for and finding Bazasto. Oh, Landy gave him one to go on with. That'll stir things up a little bit. Very, very solid knock. Well, it started off this way and it's got to finish that way, Bob. Uh, they've been at it all day, haven't they? It's the right tactic, too. There goes Kennedy, straight down the middle. Pretty good thinking. Awkward bounce, Deep here Domenico crashes his way through, and again, down he goes, forearm from Johnston, and Dipper's laid out. Mill Hannah, cops one, he's down behind plays, it's on, it's There's on. another blue at centre-half forward for Essendon, as Williams comes away, Williams down behind play, 
Sexton kicks the ball away. Still players fighting it. Set a half forward for Essendon. To half forward. Alessio and Simmons. Simmons. Oh, oh, oh. Which is him. Gee whiz. That's ridiculous. Michael Long. He could get reported for that. Just charged straight through him, isn't it? Taking him up the front. It's very dangerous when you do attack a player's head like that when he's over the ball. Well, it's on here. This could be a defining moment. As Melbourne oh. players streaming in. I'll tell you what, I think it was James Hurd who came in to remonstrate with David Schwartz and David Schwartz just picked him up and body slammed him. Sometimes it isn't your opponent who does the damage. Just now and then... It might be your own teammate. Kelvin Matthews gets a hand pass to Moncrief. And a certain goal for that. Out towards Shimmerbush and Wood at the back. As Blighty even got his own man in the face that time with his boot. And down went Shimmerbush. Langdon's there. Going backwards, but winning possession to Kelly. Kelly, a quick kick. They're letting it go. The ups, arch of the flyer. Kicks towards Oh, oh. oh that hurt. McGregor's OK, but I'll tell you what, I think it hurt McCarthy. There might be a clash of heads here, Sandy. It's a long and low, but Zanotti is there. So it's got another clash of heads. And Darcy will get clear for Geelong. Short pass, half volley, awkward. Still Ooh. more, the Swans going hard. And down goes Lynch. And down goes a Richard Osman, is it? I think Lewis got his own man there, Richard Osman. He's mistake. in awful trouble, Richard Osman. They must get someone out to him quickly. Collected his own man here, did he? Yes, he did. Yes, his eyes look very good. On again. <laughs> Going back was Pritchard. Tried to put on the brakes there. <laughs> Plenty of distance in the kick. Now a chance for Huskis. Splendid goal by Grant. Oh. Stanfield, Jeep, uh, Kelly it was. Boots it towards the wing. White goes oh. back for Lyons with a teammate in Warsaw. Oh, no talking. Now that really is a sign of uh, what North Melbourne are having to contend with. Oh, that's not so good. Out he comes the big fella. Oh. Ingerson went in hard and he's hurt. He just turns it back, high ball, not a great kick. Stevens had to oh. sit and wait. The kick goes down towards the forward line. Dick Foss does the shepherding, then Rutt falls over. McLeod thumps the ball. Rusciuto's got it. Oh. Bang, crash. Kilpatrick and Stoneham both went at him. Two Brownlow medals and the reputation as one of the most skilled players of his era are only part of the Greg Williams story. The man they called Diesel had a very, very short fuse and a rip to the ribs that could take your breath away. To Phelan. He's almost marked by Mitchell on his back. Oh, this hand passes. Oh, Greg Williams. And Williams is reported again. Out comes the book again for Greg Williams. He's already done five weeks and he has a suspended sentence of three hanging over his head. Kicks high and long. Mainwaring. Tried for his second screamer of the afternoon. Oh, Couldn't grab it this time. Oh, Kip, how <laughs> down point? Did he see that? He's yes. got to have seen it. Surely. Yes. yes. And the Brown, that favourite, has oh, gone. No score. doubt about that at all. Hooper taps down. It comes to Page. It comes to Brunt. Well, Williams Ooh. connects him. Was that a little bit late? Silly play, Greg Williams. Is he going to be reported? He is. Play Shanahan finds Harvey. Look at the pace of Harvey. He can run off Williams here. Oh, what a handball! Finds Everett now. Frawley and Danny Frawley brings it to the half forward line. His cork in the pocket tries to get it back to Williams. Okay, it's outside 50 again. That's where Geelong wants it. Williams in close quarters, ridden to the ground shortly that time. No free kick. G was stiff. The diesel, he can't believe it. <laughs> well, we saw what he did to the umpire. He's going to be reported, I think. Frustration. Uh, Pickering's been playing pretty close to him today. Diesel, uh, I think you said, Dennis, uh, has come into the game in the second half of the second quarter. He's been a good player. I, I, to, look, I just get the feeling he might have said, now that's the second time today. I mean, he, I know he was frustrated, but he'd been ridden to the ground about five minutes earlier. You should represent him at the tribunal yeah. if he made second yeah. out of that. Linda Williams, Greg Williams, caught. 
Holding the ball, says the umpire. He had a chance to get rid of it. Now, Madden will probably have to come on and do the work. Madden, uh, the runner's talking to Madden. But anyway, it's a great tackle by Dool. Oh, and he's oh. been re reported, I'd say. Well, he's had his number taken, I'll say, by Darren Goldspeak. Greg Williams. Oh, he's got to watch himself. Uh, Greg Williams getting himself involved in the action once again. A man not quite well known as the Diesel was Laser Vitovic, and he had a cult following in the old days at Moorabbin. Have a look at this, and you'll see just why. Drop punt. Neild, Morris, and Vitovic. Vitovic takes it. Two minutes, ten oh. seconds remaining. Well, there's a fair bit of pressure there coming from Ken Hickley. There's a report. Well, that ball will now be reversed now. Yeah. Here's David Flood to the half-back line. Salmon and Vitovic. And Paul Salmon takes the mark. Are they ironical cheers? The big man does well as he gives it back. Now Graham Wright on centre wing. Ooh, Charges forward to Butcher. Oh, oh. They caught one. Goodness, then. Vitovic. As oh, Vitovic leaves the goodness. ground. And Bernie, you saw it. What happened? Uh, unnecessary. Vitovic leading the ground. Edwards brings it back into play. And Burton again. Oh, oh. he caught one there. Well, our laser's not happy, and he could be in trouble. Wow. Kicks it low. Oh, terrific grab from Spalding. That's two in the last minute, and he bounces it away. Can't quite break the line, but you got a high one. Hope he's all right. To Damien Ryan. Just balances up. Then kicks the ball to Miranda. Oh, Vitovic uh, took his eye off it and went straight through Miranda. It really does, the ball doesn't travel as far. I mean, players today are struggling to kick the ball, you know, accurately over 50 metres. Handley kicks out wide and finds Barnes. Well, St. Kilda have been very good today as we see Barnes goes to ground. Mum, take the kids out for this one. The biters and the eye gougers. Disturbing footage. come from but I want to have a good look round. The umpires have got a bit to answer for here. The players getting angry with each other. And obviously angry with what happened initially. And it's well that have been sucked in here in the early minutes, Pete. Actually, oh, this is stupid in. because I can see Geelong players taking it off the ball. Brian Taylor still remonstrating with the umpire. He felt it wasn't touched. And oh! Duckworth goes down in a headlock. Danaher comes in to lend assistance with Madden. Players are coming from everywhere. Well, the pressure has been such that it is not surprising. Terry Danaher is at the bottom of that pack. Got a bite off the ball. Million bullets, I think, yes. Bullets underneath there. And Bond and Garlic, a little tag team action. North are threatening down towards Schwoz. He's caught, he's ridden into the ground and he's been pegged. John Blake is in the hands of the trainers back in the square. That's uh, Barry Young and Martin Pike. Got the right position, uh, nudged the opponent out. Michael Pryor just copying a fist full, a face full of fingers there. Liberatore also appealing. 
for some sympathy. In the words of Hannibal Lecter, it leaves a sour taste in your mouth. Uh, folks, all that meat and no vegetables, back, back, back to the black and white days, more from our distant past. Domenico in there, Witten comes through, all wild swish by McGowan. Witten in there, ooh! He's met by a Christian as though he's had his bounce, but he's... That's all he can do. Left foot by Price towards McKenna. McKenna overruns it. Oh, players go in at all angles. Was it a throw? No, it's a hand pass over to Craig. Couldn't take it in either, could Murphy. Oh, over goes that Essendon player. The police choice to tap it away to his teammate. Who should be show? Oh! Farm goes up. Nichols gets a tap down Herbert towards Crosswell. Crosswell tries to buff it his way through. And he loses out this occasion. Very lucky not to have been free kick. Very smart now. Just gets a punch further afield. The ball's in the ground with Day. Come here now. Oh, oh what, a, what a tough knock in the back to Keddie. Oh, oh, oh. Maloney comes through the ball and gets a kick in towards... Uh, Malloy. Malloy takes a mark and he's hit. Oh, his one is hot. Tony Sullivan comes towards Wells and Wells hit hard. Oh. Right, they're under pressure, tremendous pressure for the ball. So is Des Tuckett. I thought it could have been it. Parker gives chase here. Stevens from behind coming in as Parkin tries to get to it. And oh, oh Green came in. And this brought a two-week result. North Melbourne's slamming Sammy Kekovic slammed away. And got off. Pennell's after him. Pennell breaks away with the ball. He's grabbed a bit high. He's getting the free kick. Of the famous incidents that soured interstate relations, two stand out. One was the famous Lee Matthews-Barry Cable clash in Perth in the early 70s. And the other was at the Adelaide Oval. It was the biggest football story of 1963 for seven sporting supremo, the great and late Ron Casey. Hawthorne and the league's top goal kicker, John Peck, in number 23, had clinched the position as full forward for Victoria, ahead of Doug Way. His fine goal sneak form through the season in all matches earned him the selection for Victoria. He was in deadly form and then to South Australia where Peck, you'll see the incident that results in Peck being the first interstate player to be reported in 10 years. There it is. Not since Coleman and Freeze were charged with striking each other had there been such a charge. South Australia and Victorians on that muddy Adelaide Oval. After the match, Peck fronted the South Australian commissioners and he pleaded guilty under extreme provocation. Coach and captain of Victoria spoke to Lou Richards. Well, this game here at the moment is the, uh, the Peck incident. Yes. Would you want uh, to say something about that and tell our Melbourne viewers about it? Well, there will be a great story blown up about Peck, of course. He used to go before the tribunal in the morning for allegedly striking one of the players. I feel that there are a good many extenuating circumstances to help Peck. First of all, he had the ball. He was going to take the... Uh, he, had, he had the mark or a free kick. And just when he slipped over, I think someone, uh, you know, did something to him rather nasty. Just they kicked him in the tail. Oh, well, I, I do say I'd want to touch him around the bottom of the spine, yes, Lou, when he got up and... Uh, Retaliated. In temper, I would say, too. Well, in upset. frustration and in temper, yes, I, I do. Say, Lou, that no matter who you are, you, you would. No, nobody likes being kicked, and I'd say no matter who you are, you'd have to get up. And you'd see the incident yourself, Bob? We did, Lou, yes, and uh, you just couldn't help yourself. The tribunal met, and though Peck sought to change his plea to not guilty in self-defence, the 50-minute hearing led to his disqualification for two, ma for two matches. In his defence, Peck told the tribunal he thought he would be attacked a second time. Peck's suspension weakened Hawthorne, then in second place on the ladder, the side having already lost star centre man, Brendan Edwards. Folks, our next cameo features a man who spent much of his football career standing on his hands. Occasionally, he'd give them a belt in the guts to go on with. His name, Wacko Jacko.
And Jacko, oh, he's whacked. Oh, Jacko's hit. Oh, Jacko's hit. Hit him right in the face. I think you're gone, Jacko. Oh, he's gone. That's no doubt about that. You're gone, Jacko. He hit his well, right that, in the face. Well, that is three... The melee rule has done little for the game but line the pockets of the AFL. The fines keep getting dished out and the players keep coughing up. But folks, there's nothing like a rumble to get the juices flowing. We're at the huddle where there's a lot of players involved. It's happening. Munkhurst and Gregrave have been happy with each other right from the start of the game when they're involved in a bit of pushing and shoving. And... Uh... Obviously, Stan Ellis would have had plenty to say to the St Kilda team, and there's a couple thrown there, and a couple more thrown, and it's on. Looks like uh, Anderson and Brown having a nice old oh. And Dean Grick, uh, oh, there's quite well, a few in the meantime, involved. In the meantime, the ball has been bounced. And Bombers get it back. Oh. oh, look at this scuffle. Oh, like, in like, they go. There's 16, 20, 24. There's a player out. Any oh. offence on 24. I think Michael Long's uh, out for the count. Remember the one we had here a few years back, isn't it, in Melbourne? Well, Buick going at it with uh, Seacamp. The CD comes in. Norman's there. All in Donnybrook here. Michael Long is KO'd. Well, he was. He's up on his feet now. And still they come. Oh, Harvey comes in. Well, the penalty oh. was decked from behind. And I think the Essendon boys not too happy about what happened there. Anyway, the umpire's going to bounce the ball. They'd better wake up. Well, a bit of a dust up over the boundary line. Lambert, Pryor, in goes Gowers, in goes Chris Danaher, Daryl White. So, and in goes, oh, wow, is that Wallace into it? Oh, he went in strongly. I know whether there's much need for remonstration because there's going to be a free kick here now to Collingwood, you would think. Oh, and Everett, well, they're being. This is just the nasty side of football when it's really not necessary. There'll be malaise here, there'll be fines incurred, and there's got to be a bit of self-discipline. And he could well be playing for his footy future. Again, the tempers are flying, so the plays are very, very good. Oh, oh, Dale kick it has oh. just thrown a couple. Look at this, Dennis. This is not good. Dale, he's got a booking this week. Down goes Fletcher, claimed immediately, and we'll have... A bounce and again it's off and God let one fly Fletcher not amused either. Congested half forward trouble in the middle boys there's a bit of a scuffle here. Oh there is it's on. And Matty's going in now look at this. Oh he's he's a lot in there. And Liberatore's in there players on the ground Campbell this is fantastic. He's got blood all over him Knights. Brown's gone in hard as well. He has been whacked. And this is an old-fashioned melee. Now, Tipper, what did you see there? I didn't see anything at all, except for Knights going down. Then I saw him go up, and uh, everybody uh, went to... Um, uh, Look at Knights. Let's really. just see what happens. I'll keep an eye on it, boys. And Richardson furious there at the moment. Knights, look at that. That's a, a horrible scene for Richmond. Now, folks, we can be flippant about the rough stuff, but football has its ugly side, a side no one likes to see. The faces of players contorted in agony. In towards the centre. Vanderhaar comes over the top. Thompson waiting down. So too was Clark and Mick Thompson. And off he goes. Yes, Vanderhaar is in strife down here. Definitely a leg or a knee or ankle, I'd say, Sandy. Oh, Watson, that's courage. Didn't take the mark, but it's courage. He might have hurt uh, himself. But McQueen coming through. Two Richmond players as the kick comes from Ooh. both. Now, yeah, that is a heavy buck. And uh, Michael Roach, I don't know whether he was winded. Oh, I don't think it's worth 15 metres. So, can't take the mark. The Fitzroy defence under terrific pressure. The ball forced out. Oh, Saxe got one. Top of the beauty. Seventh from the centre. Now towards right half forward. And the mark taken by Williams. So Essendon playing all over Collingwood. Now Salmon is down at centre field. Salmon down. He hasn't moved from it for a while. But he's really stunned down there. That is, uh, well... Very bad luck for Essendon to see a star player leave the field. Prisiska's in front, takes the mark. Gavin Prisiska wants to play on. That was oh. ambitious. Shaw sold into trouble. Shaw is hurt. He's uh, uh, really hurt. But, uh, he's got a broken wrist. Mm. Judging by his reactions, 
Dislocated elbow, I'd suggest. I'm no doctor, but... Oh, yeah. On to Rice, on the run. Runs in pursuit. Here's a good race. He's confident. Oh, kick it! Even off the ground would have done. Umpire says, play on. This is not what the St Kilda team would want because this could halt their run on. See there, Rice getting and then a good hip and shoulder. Good hip and shot. You're kidding, Don. That's uh, with a pretty high tackle. He was going down and the Geelong player was coming through. It was unavoidable. There was no elbow. Just a good solid hip. Goes for the short pass to Lockett who leads. Oh, chipping in the front there, McPherson, but couldn't take the mark. Osmond, a long way from goal, chasing kicks. Might get a free kick here. Banks grabbed him, I thought, were not in possession. Osmond applying the tackle to Mullane. Osmond still down. Mullane has got up. Well, actually, it was an act of frustration by Osmond when he went over to try and get the ball off Mullane. It was South Australia who take it away through Craig Bradley who bounces it over half forward. Clean bowls, everyone. Here's a chance for Tony Hall. Set sail for goal. How will it bounce? It goes to the left. And one behind on the board for the Crow Eaters. And Hall looking in a spot of bother. Continuing to gather kicks. Dwyer just tapped it on a little. Carey. Awkward ball. Hamilton ducks his head and gets caught. Lockett favouring his leg in that clash with Carey. Got up a little gingerly. And through Anderson it comes to Dippy Domenico. He's kicked to centre half forward. Dunstall on the lead. Dives and marks low down. And then did he get trodden on there by Earl Sporey? It appears though he did. His eye doesn't look all that good there, Jason Dunstall. As he takes the mark and slides to the ground, we'll see Earl Sporting continues on. And there it is there, that left knee just hitting him above the uh, left eye or the right eye of uh, Jason Dunstall. Both had a fair bit of momentum up. I don't know that there was much Sporting could do, but it's closed Jason Dunstall's right eye. Yes, uh, well, you've come in contact with a knee. For Del Rey. Del Rey at right halfback flank, short pass intended for Collinhook. Just alluded to him. Yates put out of business by a good hip and shoulder. He's right near the interchange line. He's about a metre from it. Could be a knee injury. Uh, let's hope not. And Gareth John in trouble. Yeah, quite a graphic picture there of uh, Gareth. He's in uh, obvious, obviously a uh, little bit distressed there. And they're taking him straight up the, uh, up the pavilion there into the rooms. Bailey has a good look and delivers a nice drop punt towards centre-half forward. Great play, Watson. Exciting footballer. Caught by Edgar and will be penalised. Essendon fans would not be happy, but you cannot push the ball in front of yourself like that. Oh, what is it, the hammy? He's been shot. Oh, they hurt. They really do hurt when you pull one. That's what he's done. Alvin. Bradley. No free kick. McDonald. Scholl. And Dean. Oh, he's hurt his elbow, Peter Dean. He's hurt his elbow no, that's badly. a broken arm, Peter. Yes, oh, yes. he's that broken is, his arm, I think. That's that about the awful. fourth occasion he's done that, and that is real problems for oh. Peter Dean. That's a tragedy. From 40 metres, who fires in a goal. Oh! Scott Turner, is it or Gwilliam? That's Gwilliam that's hit the post, and thank goodness there's padding there on that post. Holding his leg at the moment, he's Gwilliam. He's not too good. He's not good at all. McPherson should have done better there. Jarman. On to Keller. Tripped. That's Peter Foster, I think. Peter Foster had his legs just kicked right out from underneath him from by uh, Paul Deere. Too far out to score. Kick and a half from goal. Kicks up towards Salmon. Excellent mark, Paul Salmon. And he gets trouble. one. He's in trouble. Shoulder. Oh, gee, I hope that's not serious. Come on, Jared. What is it? The, which joint is it? Well, I'll go for the AC joint. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Robbo, because he fell right on the point. Oh. On that occasion, I would have liked to see Turnbull jump in his path on this occasion. We'll see his hand, his arm, and get land straight. Bang. Ooh. Right there. Oh, oh just yes. His shoulder. Just got his shoulder or something. Yeah, that's a... Uh, a serious one. Does he, you have a look at this as he hits the ground. Oh, oh yeah, that's gone under him. Yeah, that's a snap of the upper arm. Oh, he's in a lot of trouble, the big fella. Oh, yeah. You can see it just there. It's uh, not where it should be. Well, gee, he's done his knee. He's trying to put his knee in, Chris. Well, look at him banging his knee. Look. So, back in back is Parker. Here comes Foss from the left. Watch his right leg contact here. Oh, yeah. And as he goes down, look at that. You can see the break there. Yes. You can see the break. Goodness me. So, the bottom half of his right leg. 
That's terrible. As uh, looks like badly damaged his leg. It's the trainer holding the right leg there to down the base. Look at that. Yes. Oh. Got the doctor out there, and Mackenzie. That is just it's a little bit sickening, isn't it, it is. uh, Roscoe, to oh, see the look. leg like that? This happens so often, Lee, doesn't it? One-sided oh. games, they're done. It was the teammate, the McGrath, McGrath, McGrath. Contact on the arm. McGrath comes in from the right. The right McGrath. arm. Bang. Oh. This is tragic news here for Geelong. It's a bit casual. Yeah. Sets it up for Snell. Snell made it look OK. Took a very good mark. Jardy's leg as he hit. He's in trouble. Yes. He's in trouble. Oh, the ankle. Oh, 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 that doesn't look good at all. Oh, dear. Jason Snell in agony out there. He's in all sorts of pain. As he landed, it was obvious it wasn't a good landing. You see that left ankle. And we need the doctor it's out there as quickly angle. as possible. In the early days, he fired up when people called him the hitman. Later, he would become one of the great captains in the game. Roger the Dodger Merritt was just the bloke Kevin Sheedy needed to instil law and order at Windy Hill. And later he'd take his unique form of justice up north to Brisbane. And being carried from the ground, who was that player, Bobby, for Carlton? Marku. Alex Marku. There's another one down. And they'd want to control this very, very quickly indeed. Another Carlton player down. Austin. Well, what a sensational start. No score on the board. Marcou's been taken off in the arms of the trainers. I think a couple of the Carlton players are very upset with Roger Merritt, so I think he might have had something to do with Austin. Against uh, the big fella Roger Merritt, over to Wallace. Been a pretty good player too. He's had a million kicks. Was flattened after he uh, kicked the ball. The pencil's out. And we see Roger Merritt will get reported. That brings a loud cheer from the crowd. This is a perfect example. Kink was... 30 metres away and made no attempt to get to the get to the play. Oh, Matthew's got one. You never guess who it is. He's gone again. Oh, God, I don't know about this one. Actually, Lyon might have touched that off the boot. Wouldn't have been a mark anyway. Didn't carry far enough. Laurie goes down with a high tackle. Not seen by the umpire, surprisingly. Puts Gray out of the danger zone, but both sides breaking down across their half-forward lines at the moment. Now they've got another chance. Puts Gray. Davies gets the hand pass out. It's picked up by Whitney. Which great player down is Davies. That was the roar. The man in white is always right. Who penned that drivel? The umpires are a necessary part of the game. But sometimes they're an obstacle that has to be overcome. Very high there, Richardson. Down it comes here to Wallace. Wallace left foot to the goal. And it's through. Oh, the goal. Oh. Worked very solidly there. Fancy doing that to an umpire. I'll tell you what, too, it's uh, Steve Stevens, who has been a goal umpire for 20 years, and this is his final appearance in league football. He's 50 years of age. This is his final appearance. And I'll tell you what, he's a pretty sick fella. And he's going on with the job before he gets attention. Up, oh, flying from him. Cook couldn't mark it. Down it came. Bedford snaps it up. He's about 30 oh, yards out. He's sleeping in the and eye. Sleep. He's right in the head. head. There's a sensation, though. Who will win next week? Only time will tell. Dead level. Next week we play off. Now the troopers are in there also. I don't know what's happened to the prison umpire coach. Doesn't look too well to me. I didn't see what happened. We're just talking about the result of the match. Umpire coach. I don't know what has happened, but a rather sensational finish for a rather sensational game. For Harry Rowan, can he pick it up? He's got it, a running shot for goal. If he got the goal, I'm fired out. Knocked him goal. Moore's kick is just about smothered. On towards Glenn Denning. Flicks out the hand pass to Shimmerbush. He'll have to kick it soon. The siren's just about due to go. Off target. And the goal umpire's down and lost his hat. But he's good enough to give it as one behind. Did for tap. We've had Essendon put down to just 18 players now, and the umpire's gone down. The umpire is down. Goodness me. Well, they're going to have to do something about this very quickly. Uh, the second umpire, Clayton, is at the moment trying to get some form of law and order established. Gee, they're playing with adrenaline now. 
the shot. Oh, oh the umpire, he's down. The he's hurt. The umpire got in the way when Bays was going to take Bays the mark. And Bays hurt too. And Gaifer loses it. Henwood, Henwood over the top. Brennan, with Ablett on the mark, Brennan brings it towards oh. half with The umpire's fallen over. On with the game they go. Lee Matthews swinging the changes, but they've had no effect so far. Steins, finally gets boot the ball. How he did so, I don't know. Mark's built by McGuan. Now the umpire's gone down as well. So it will be a bounce. He doesn't look too good. And he wouldn't be used to that, the umpire. Brian Wilson giving him mouth to mouth. Interesting thought. I think it's Ross Castle, isn't it? it? Certainly is. Let's see what happened. Who hit him? Tony Shaw. Two players. Wilson two and players. Shaw. <laughs> set up beautifully. Well, probably I, they won't be getting ground love votes. Well, I don't think <laughs> they practice those sort of things at training either, the umpires. I don't think they expect to be clobbered by big bruising footballers. Unbelievable. Boundary umpire wasn't far away. Peter Cameron's come in with a pencil. Big pack of players down there. Wren got two hands to it. Craig Turley has speed at the back. We'll go close to a score. Oh, oh gee, hit oh. the post and the goal umpire. Well done, sir. Now it's Collins. What can the little fella do? Just waiting on the umpire. Touch. What magnificent play by Andy Collins. Uh, oh, Lewis in late. Could be against Lewis, I'd say, for that indiscretion. Money in the thick of things. Comes up, certainly holding on. I'm not too happy with Chris Lewis for diving in late there. Oops. Oh, oh there the umpire. umpire's gone. Umpire Harris is down. Lamb crashed into him. Gower's takes the ball and kicks it in towards the centre and a mark is taken by Paul Deere. There's a whistle and it's going to be a free kick to Lewis out there. Gee, that was terrific play by McGovern Ooh. half back. The umpire goes down. Could have been edged out. It's going to be another goal. Stephen Clark gets in the action. Tap by Caverton. Dundas. Brown. Oh! Brown's the umpire taking a body blow, picking himself up. And Armstrong gone out of it, so Nathan Burke. And he just lost his man, O'Reilly, there. Oh, Barnes collided with the umpire, Points. and he's seeing stars. He does, doesn't quite get onto it, but it lobs up. Oh, not quite a mark. Is that too high? Yes. Collinook against Pike. A free kick to Collinook from 20 metres, and Pike is incensed about the decision, and he's been pushed away by his teammate Paxman. Wanganeen was reported for striking the Tigers Ashley Prescott, then made contact with field umpire Michael Avon. It's okay, Barnes has got it. He's a long kick, but not that time. Oh, oh it's blocked oh, by the umpire. Yeah, umpire. Too many umpires. Gale! <laughs> oh, oh, oh Barnes oh. being flattened. Well, Wayne Swash clearly didn't like that decision. <laughs> Lynch cleverly done. Releases Hocking. Hocking a probing oh. kick. Down goes the umpire. The mark has been held down there by Tawny. And the umpire is slow to get up. That's um, Gavin Dorr. He was hit pretty solidly. They need David Schwartz. Oh, the umpire. The, the umpire. umpire. He was going to take a mark, I reckon, Schwartz. Well, Schwartz crashed into Brian Shea. That'll be one uh, argument against a third umpire, I would think, where they're getting him away. That's right. First one way. Then the other. Look out, umpire! And he's down and he's out, that umpire. Well, he got in the way of uh, Mark Neal. Well, he's hurt the umpire. He is out. Where am I? What game am I at? I think Mark Neal could have taken that mark too. But he's all right. He... It is an extra dimension. And there were three of them out there. I mean, they're always going to end up getting in front of that hole. Staggering, full isn't Full forward and centre half forward position. So... Well, that's about the third or fourth one this year that's been bowled over. There will be more. To Shaw, to Francis. Goes for goal with a high one. Good kick, great kick. It's a goal. No, touch the umpire. The umpire's hurt himself. He's flattened him. Rock ran into him, I think. Gee, I'd like to see a replay. I thought that was over the line. It did look that way, didn't it? Into the path of King. King's kick is good. Set our forward. Got great effort. The umpire's in strife here. He's been down. Stuart Anderson ran into him and uh, the umpires aren't good for physical contact. Particularly when they don't see the player coming and they run into him.
chips the line, fantastic. Centering kick, it's a dangerous kick for the Bulldogs. The race is on. Short kick and Luke Darcy. Oh, 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 to oh. square up from Kieran Nichols. Now, oh. this is well off the ball. What's happened there, Jerry? Well, I didn't see what it was, but uh, Todd Curley is absolutely baffled. Learn. Oh, the umpire got in the road and didn't play a free kick, which is good. Collingwood fans wanted one. Well, the Eagles in front and they haven't won. Uh, they haven't won too many court. The umpire's down again. So uh, after Mark Thompson appeared yeah, to be oh, the umpire. Oh, the umpire's in the way again, and hopefully sanity will prevail. Young yeah, Robbins copped a headbutt from the umpire. Well, that just shows the ludicrous nature of this rule, and Todd Curley will know all about Look that. Look at this. Oh. Look at this. Gasper doing the ruck work. Phoebe, seen a lot of the footy in this quarter. Uze one-on-one -on -one with Rowan Jones. This next section is dedicated to the punches, the jabbers and the headbutters. To those fiery individuals whose emotions simply got the better of them. Oh, they're all spoiling each other, North Melbourne's of, oh, look at this. Oh, they're into it now. Got the ball, oh, he's down, Gordon. And a half uh, forward, and a mark to uh, the Collingwood skipper, he's down. Oops. And wing them when they're off the ball, rather than what we've already seen. Almost took the grab, McGee's right there with him. Both of them over, free kick. And see if the demons can come back. There's the kick coming down towards half four, and it will be interesting. Oh boy! Oh, Similar to how oh, oh, he bounced it, it yeah. was held. Yes, that's the old rule. My word. And the one to go on with as well. And Jacko, oh, he's whacked. Oh, Jacko's hit. Oh, Jacko's hit. Hit him right in the face. I think you're gone, Jacko. Oh, he's gone. That's no doubt about that. You're gone, Jacko. Oh, oh Rick Kennedy. Simmons breaks clear, gets a hurried kick back there to Bull. Mepio dropped one of the face from Reese Jones. And then he gave Reese Jones one back, and Reese Jones will get the free kick. They're resting now. Reese Jones was picked at full forward, but he's out there on the wing position having a nice how do you do out there now with uh, Demetrio, and the umpire is going to take Demetrio's number. It's Terry Wallace. Terry Wallace in short is a poor pass. Oh! oh was that recordable? It certainly was, because here comes the book. On this Good occasion, catch. the ball drops in short. Oh, and that should be 50. It's taken. It might get reported. It's got to be 50 metres. It might meters. get reported. He is. There they are in a, a group of centre-half forward. And he's kicked a couple of goals. Very mobile centre-half forward. Back towards centre-half forward. Standing his ground with Solomon. Punched out of the way. Oh. Michael Long. And have a look at the attack here. It's just uh, You just can't do that. And 50 metres to boot. Oh, that's a bit of mouthing off, I believe. Now, this has the shades of the frustration that set in last week at Shell Stadium. Umpire on the wrong side that time, and a boundary throw in. Gee, Gasper and Lloyd... And Gasper's pointing up, oh, gee, at the video. That's right. Well, there's something happened on that occasion down in the forward pocket area. Side bottom getting up. The umpire's talking. Oh, did you see that one? Did you see that one? Dimitri marks on his chest. Oh, a bit of headbutting going on here. They've had a few wrestles now. We see Hansel and uh, Dimitri having a few words to say. And now the umpire said a free kick will go the way of Merv Neagle. Oh, a head has gone off. That's silly play, Neagle. That's that is stupid. Stupid football. That should have been a report, and I think it will be a report. The umpire's thinking about it. Yep. The umpire spotted that against Jonas. Oh, he headbutted uh, uh, Jonas in the stomach. Yeah. Long way from goal. One up by giving one. him 15, isn't he? One up by one to give him 50, and the other... Yes, 50, no, 50. <laughs> What's happening? Players today are struggling to kick the ball, you know, accurately over 50 metres. Handley kicks out wide and finds Barnes. 
Well, St. Kilda have been very good today as we see Barnes goes to ground. Port increased their lead by a little as, oh, gee whiz. Careful. Nettle Beck's just kicked the two There's a bit going on here with season. Justin Charles, too. Justin Charles just had his number taken there. Warsfold, that was Connor. No, 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 Warsfold, no, no, hang on. Warsfold started. You wouldn't pinch his beer in a pub, oh, would you, okay. honestly? Uh, it's a, just a head. Now, yeah, might reverse yeah. this. Or is he, it's a booking. Uh, it's a booking, yeah. Head butted him down their forward line, Melbourne's forward line. Well, they're gonna, he's got to fire them up. Oh, oh. he head butt. <laughs> <laughs> He's just come onto the ground, he might have his number taken here. It's a free kick now. Uh, it'll be at the centre uh, center circle, it'll have to be. Well, it's disappointing for... He's got the book out. Yeah, he's going to book him for head, buddy. Well, it's one thing to give the free kick away. Oh, oh Larry, no. that'd be a goose. Take him.